This is for all you multi-talented, multitasking, multi-everything people out there. Take it away. Find your glory, write your story, fearless we will carry you. Time you own it, take your moment, be a fire burning through. Hustling from night until morning, grinding it out, it won't be long. Feel your power, it's your hour, you inspire, you are strong. Enjoy your Zoa. No applause. <laughs> You're all fired. <laughs> now that you've reached the stage in your life where quality television is important, Nubian TV is a black network that speaks to your lifestyle. Nubian TV is the world's first digital network devoted to the upscale and political lifestyles of black people. Nubian TV's programming includes politics, travel, fashion, food, automotive, arts and culture, civil rights, music, and more. Watch now on Amazon Fire TV, Roku, or watch globally at NubianTV.net. Nubian TV, it's what you want to watch. Caesar. Just look at him. Politician, general, author, ruler, man. Legend has it, he's not only stared into the belly of the beast, he's had it for dinner. Here he's free to relax, or party, or relax, or party, or relax, and party. His is a world of opulence. And the occasional impulse buy. Not one to rest on his laurels, he's famous for ushering in a new age of entertainment. So, for anyone seeking a place where the sun never sets on a good time, all this awaits. I am Caesar, and I approve this palace. Well, hello, 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 hello to you, 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 and you. Welcome into the prime time edition of Braylon Lee's virtual tour live, y'all. We got a jam packed show for you tonight. Oh, uh, Michael Jackson is in the news. Um, apparently, there are some photos of the estate does not want out. What type of photos? I have all the intel for you. Los Angeles, California. Ooh, a lot's going on in LA. How big is it? Well, it involves a bank heist. How much did they try to take? I'll tell you about it. Tyler Perry, the Dreamers Internship Program is launched. Okay, the application dropped today. And I have the link and I'm going to break down everything you need to know so your college student can get the chance to work at Tyler Perry Studios. How cool is that? We're going to get into some history with Blackbird and Beyonce. There is a significant historical context to that song. I'll give you the intel. 99 Cent Stores is closing all of its locations. I'll have the intel for you on that. Television City is being invested in. But what about the union workers, the people that actually make high what happened? We're investing in a studio before we invest in people. Okay, let's talk about it. And then finally, Christian Combs. There's a sexual lawsuit. Child, hire is waiting. Low is available. But either way, we are live on tour. Let me take down this iconic intro. 
Well, we got a lot to discuss tonight. You see the virtual tour background. You hear the virtual tour music. And then there is me. Hey, everybody. Welcome in. Glad to have all of you here in the building with me. Y'all ready to do this thing? Because we got a lot to talk about, y'all. So let's get on cracking. We're gonna start off with this story from the Jasmine brand. Michael Jackson's estate against singer sexual assault accusers accessing his criminal file document reportedly includes images of his genitals. Y'all, I'm reading it as you are hearing it, okay? This happened one day ago. Lawyers representing the estate of the estate of pop star Michael Jackson don't want his naked pictures circulating online. Reportedly, the legal professionals recently motioned the court to block access to his criminal file, arguing it includes sensitive content irrelevant to the lawsuit they're currently fighting. As we've been covering, Michael Jackson's estate has been in battle lawsuit with two individuals, Wade Robinson and James Safechuck, who accused the singer of repeatedly arresting um, them as children they were in the um, document they were in a documentary about all of this and oprah winfrey did a um, after show for the documentary um who accused yeah the plaintiffs reportedly rather filed a court motion recently seeking access to his 1993 oil station investigation to file in seemingly in hopes of coming upon evidence to support their complaint robinson and safe chuck are suing jackson's corporations claiming the Position staffers are largely responsible for their alleged ongoing abuse. Um, their story is chronicled in detail in the 2019 documentary Leaving Neverland. That's the documentary I was trying to think of, but couldn't think of it right away. Before a judge could decide whether or not to grant access to grant them access to the file, rather, however, Jackson's estate motioned to have the request denied. They reportedly argued that the file does not hold any information relevant to their complaint. It was already rejected by a previous court judge writing plaintiff's attempt attempt to attain the sensitive private and irrelevant information over this court's prior order to quash is particularly egregious the report notes that way previously attempted to access the file when he was first when he first sued jackson's estate in 2017 as mentioned the request was ultimately denied before the case was thrown out entirely the comments here and one forgets that the fbi fully investigated michael jackson for years and found the claims to be unsubstantiated the fbi the federal bureau of investigations ladies and gentlemen dear eric carter said that his mother tried to get him to wrongfully accuse michael jackson and then one of his accusers admit that his mother also forced him to accuse michael jackson and was it it wasn't it found that investigators actually found proof that michael was a straight man in the house this icon has gone on to peace. Cap Williams even apologized for what he said about Michael and said that's something that he did. Mike did do stuff like that. He was one, he was another one people claimed people. He was another one people claim he could do no wrong. He was a child or Wester. That is that person's opinion. Miss Dolly Boss Inc. That is your opinion. Okay, leave this man alone. Let him rest in peace. He slept in the bed with those boys. That that ish wasn't normal, fam. Y'all dragging this. So as y'all see, the comment section is commenting on this story. <sighs> Honestly, when it comes to Michael Jackson, right? If the FBI found him innocent and he was found innocent in the court of law, then that's it, right? That's absolutely it. Now, I honestly believe that every victim has the right to come forward and speak the truth, um, give their give their experience and have their time. But after some point in time, some people may feel that you're dragging out your story just to be seen. Just being real, because that's that 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 is some people's opinion of this michael jackson thing so um shout out to um lady b she sent me this and i was like wait a minute what this is a story so um i wanted to give it the time of day that needed um of course on thursday we covered the omni uh, resorts in the hotel 
um, Hotel's um, cyber attack, along with the City of Hope cyber attack and the AT&T cyber attack as well. So, um, but yeah, just I hope everybody involved um, gets what they believe is right for them. And just Lord Jesus, just I think at the end of the day, let Michael Jackson rest, man. That that's all I have to say. I wish everybody well, but good damn, really going after a document that includes images of his okay y'all let's roll on so remember how i told y'all that there was a bank heist well burglar steal 30 million dollars in cash from a los angeles um, money storage facility one of the city's largest cash heists this comes to us from cnn the FBI and C and the FBI Los Angeles Police Department are investigating one of the largest cash heists in the city's history after as much as 30 million was stolen from a Sando Sando Fernali Sando um, Fernando Valley rather money storage facility a law enforcement source briefed on the investigation told scene and Monday the burglary happened on the night of Easter Sunday at a facility in Samar a suburban neighborhood in the San Fernando Valley where cash from businesses across the region is handled in stores is stored the source said the Los Angeles Times first report the incident the FBI Los Angeles office told CNN Thursday that they are investigating a large theft in the San, Bernard, the San Fernando Valley and are working jointly with the Los Angeles Police Department but would not share any other details citing an ongoing investigation. The Los Angeles Police Department referred all comment to the FBI, Federal Bureau of, Investig of Investigations. Burglars gained access to the building and entered the vault without setting off the alarms. The investigators believed it was a sophisticated group based on their ability to evade detection. The source said one area of focus of the invest for the investigation is whether the group had inside knowledge of the facility, said the source, who added that the heist was discovered on Monday. The facility was operated by a private security firm, Garda World. The source said CNN has reached out to the company for comment on the incident, according to the Los Angeles Times. Previously, the largest cash heist in the city happened on September 12, 1997, when $18.9 million was stolen from the former site of the Dunbar Arm Inc. Incorporated facility on Mateo Street. Those suspects were eventually caught. CNN is Taylor um, Romaine or Roman contribute to this report. And so there is also a uh, video from KTLA 5 in Los Angeles. So we will go to that, see their reporting as well. It is one of the signed up for a right absolutely hey Greta Lee good to see you good to see you good to see you AARP but I didn't think I was ready give him a y'all should be loading until I started seeing benefits everywhere join AARP Sometimes I do wish you could skip these damn commercials. It's like, really, let's let's just get to the story. Okay. Oh my lord. P now for access to exclusive benefits. Plus, find resources for. Retirement planning and understanding social security benefits. So. Where do they have the 99 cent stores on the West Coast um, and not in the middle? Oh, I signed up. Join I think they have them in California, $10. Texas, and um, one other place, if I'm not mistaken. But it's all the stores. We definitely will get to that store for sure. Because I saw that. I'm like, wait, what? Not the 99 cent store. Like, 
first year with automatic renewal, and that includes a second membership free. Five seconds left, y'all. Plus, you'll receive AARP the magazine and this free gift. Call. All right, here we go, y'all. Here's the school. Or go online today. One of the biggest heists in U.S. history, tens of millions of stolen, of dollars stolen, the thieves getting in and out without setting off any alarms. It happened on Easter Sunday at a cash facility in Silmar, and tonight the $30 million money mystery remains unsolved. KTLA's Rick Chambers is live in Silmar with details on this elaborate heist. Rick. Yeah, Mike, I don't think most people are aware. I know I certainly wasn't that money storage facilities even existed outside of a bank or the Federal right. Reserve. So I certainly didn't know that that building behind me here in Silmar is one of them. But somehow the burglars knew all of that and apparently knew it for some time before they broke in unnoticed and made off with the cash. It's a nondescript building that sits along the railroad tracks here in Silmar. The Garda World complex, an armored truck facility where money collected from regional businesses is stored. Easter Sunday night, though, it was robbed. To think that someone would have the manpower, certainly the knowledge and the inside intelligence to understand the layout of the building, the schedule that the money would be there, because that money is often moved very quickly, uh, certainly says to me that there was inside information. It was likely a sophisticated, well-seasoned team of thieves, able to avoid security guards and bypass the alarms, then penetrate the vault and haul away an enormous stack of cash. And it's the sheer size of the take that experts say may lead to an arrest. I think the likelihood is very high because you don't move that kind of money very quickly. Yes. It's not like you're grabbing a couple mm -hmm. checks and running out the door. The LA Times reports that the burglars accessed the building through the roof but plywood covers a hole oh, wow. in the outer wall, possibly a means right. of escape. Investigators tonight are questioning employees and reviewing surveillance tape. They will try to determine who had access to the facility, who was aware of the schedule that, that knew the money would be in the facility and how long it would be, um, the security around the facility and how much time they would have to be able to gain access and be able to move that large amount of money. Well, it's being said that this may, in fact, be the largest cash robbery in L.A. history. Both the FBI and the LAPD are working the case. In Silmar, I'm Rick Chambers. Guys, I'll throw it back to you in Hollywood. Thank you, Rick Chambers, so much for that, brother. Um, this is mind-blowingly bad. A Guardia employee who did not want to be identified on camera told KTLA you would never suspect it. $30 million in the valley, gone. The employee added that he had no idea there was so much cash inside the Samar facility. While it's unclear how the thieves knew about the massive amount of money held inside the facility safe, the break-in was considered complex and suggested a highly experienced burglary crew. According to a report from Los Angeles Times, the thieves entered into the building entered the building through the roof to gain access to the vault outside the vault itself there was no obvious signs of the break-in and officials at the facility weren't even aware of the heist until the sink was opened on monday ktla has obtained footage of a big hole cut into the side of the building which was layered covered with plywood it has since been repaired and here it is right there ladies and gentlemen right there detectives with the los angeles police department federal bureau of investigation have yet to comment on exactly how the burglary crew got away with the cash unnoticed one of one law enforcement official with the los angeles county sheriff's department major crimes bureau who was not on this case told ktla that many storage facilities like garter world in samara have multiple layers of security of the four or five systems including alarms and motion detectors um, robert clark who we saw in the piece there from rick chambers um a retired special agent in charge at the L at the FBI LA field office spoke to KTLA about what detectives detectives are likely focusing on right now behind the scenes. And of course, like he said, they will try to determine who had access to the facility, who was aware of the schedule, and knew that the money would be in the facility and for how long security around the facility, how much time they would have to be able to gain access to be able to lose such a large amount of money. 
And $30 million. Hey, Nikki Dudes, welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in. Good to see you. Yeah, it really does sound like an inside job. I mean, somebody must have watched Kevin Hart's movie Lift where they had to. So basically in Kevin Hart's movie Lift, they had to steal money from air, air from an airplane. <laughs> so I'm there. So they probably was like, oh, that looks fun. Let's do that. <laughs> ciao, 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 ciao. All right. Are y'all ready for this? I am so excited. Y'all know we talked about Tyler Perry's Dreamers Internship Program. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the link is active. That's right. The link is active. All right. Get up for y'all. I'm so excited about this. So excited to be able to tell y'all about it. Look at those beautiful black people. All those smiles there. So the program overview is a six-week paid internship for individuals who are passionate about pursuing a career in the entertainment industry. Select applicants will learn from industry experts while being exposed to nearly every aspect of running a major production studio, production studio operations, accounting development, post-production, social, digital media, information technology, IT, art, graphic design, legal costume, and wardrobe and costumes. I'm assuming that will also be makeup and hair. <laughs> So y'all know when we do a deep dive, we go there. So get your popcorn ready and settle in because we're going to be here for a minute. <laughs> so about Tyler Perry's, Dream, Tyler Perry Studios Dreamers is a paid program where you can receive college credit for your experience. Participants will gain work experience as well as meet professionals who are available as excellent contacts and mentors you'll be able to apply classroom textbook knowledge to real life atmospheres Tyler Perry Studios is convinced to provide a solid learning foundation for Tyler Perry Dreamer Tyler Perry Studios Dreamers this program allows participants to receive firsthand knowledge of the rewards and challenges of working in for a multifaceted entertainment company participants will learn about Tyler Perry's long and short-term goals and objectives as well as gain an introductory experience into both the corporate and television production areas let me tell you some of the nda that will be signed because you see participants will be learning about tyler perry studios long-term and short-term goals and objectives if you don't think there's not an nda on that you must be out your ever loving mind do you hear me quick facts program length six weeks from mid-june through early august application deadline may 5th 11 59 p.m so you basically have one month from today to may 5th to get your application in tyler perry studios link to georgia is location time commitment 16 hours a week for six weeks curriculum participants will rotate between roles production to operations accounting development post production excuse me social digital media um, informational technology, IT, art, graphic design, legal, wardrobe, and more college credit. Available with proper documentation. Field trip, one per program. Fr fireside chats every Friday with Tyler Perry guest speaker. Payment $18 an hour. Now, when I called them this morning to, you know, interview or to get somebody to come on so we can talk about this that way we can elevate this they said they couldn't do it and they said that it's being promoted i'm like okay i understand i just wanted to help because <laughs> it takes many people to lift to make to lift a dream come true you know what i mean but hey that's what they want to do um and you know what i should have asked them if i could be a tyler perry speaker for the fireside chat but they're like no we got those covered too just like okay all right just oh lord jesus Sometimes you need different speakers to reach different people. Okay, good Lord Jesus. Anyway, um, week one timeline, welcome um, human resources, orientation, policies, procedures, start paperwork, um, safety and um, sexual harassment. I think that's what they meant to say, sexual harassment. Studio tour, department assignments. Um, Tyler Perry Studios Dreamers will shadow the assistants in each department, each department while learning while learning processes weeks two through five tyler perry studios dreamers will continue shadowing the assistants in each department while learning processes um eow status report discuss the improvements strengths weaknesses and ways we can support um tyler perry studios dreamers will continue shadowing the assistants in each department while learning processes this is week six and we'll put together a in, the end of program project 
Now, I don't know why I feel this way, but because Tyler Perry owns BET Plus, maybe that end of program project could be on BET Plus. I'm just saying. So, roles and responsibilities. We are seeking highly motivated and proactive college students in the industry looking for career experience in a variety of fields. Each candidate should review the following roles and responsibilities for each position to ensure that the Tyler Perry's Dreamers program, Tyler Perry Studios Dreamers program is a good fit. So, office produ- set production assistant, office PA, answering telephones, filing paperwork, and that entry arranging meals, transportation reservation, photo copying, distributing production paperwork general office administration set pa acting as a messenger um, between the um, associate director department um, and production maintain the cleanliness of the set lockdown areas and control crew movement during filming distributing call sheets those call sheets man are huge they have like from 9 a.m to 9 p.m and you gotta be here this that and there call times and all that type of stuff a production report and other paperwork assist with coordinating the extras etc studio operations stage management assist um, stage managers on various types of stages for various third-party shows assist with client services customer service to third-party productions assist with supervising production activity on the lot, have a general understanding of the production process and be able to proactively ensure production needs are met, provide daily reports on stage conditions and maintenance repair needs, monitor and assist in enforcement of productions, adherence to studio rules and regulations, will give tours of Tyler Perry Studios to clients and vendors. That, that's a big networking opportunity, give them doors. Um, studio operations, maintenance grounds and facilities assist with managing office improvements working with tenants slash productions to ensure they are receiving what they need working on the growth of the studio assisting in future studio expansion and renovation projects so does that mean you're still doing the 12 production sound stages because you stopped that because of some ai technology i'm just asking questions but i'm assuming because you said assisting with future studio expansion that that would mean the sound stages right okay assisting with procurement of new vendors and services for facility and contract management control and manage studio support budgets and purchases as well as tracking um, and invoicing um, ancillaries studio operations production equipment rentals learn the process of production rentals and equipment inventory at the warehouse learn the functionality of each production equipment cameras lying sound etc assist with client services customer services to third party productions audit and organize various film lighting grip and camera equipment facilitate process and quotas and orders for productions creative and development responsible for uh, supporting the assistants and executives in the department with various tasks including but not limited to pitching log entries data entry projects group coverage attendance or assistance with special events organizing production notebooks or their bible so whenever you are on a show right usually receive a bible um that will be the log line that will be the show what the show is about who's on the cast this that and the third um what um sets will be needed all that type of stuff participants may also be invited to attend confidential inner um departmental um depart departmental and creative means should assist script department with proofing writing drafting log line creating decks etc pitch decks Script supervision on set assist um, script supervisor with script notes while filming, making sure the script supervisor has the most current version of the script, learning how to break down time and itemizing scenes in terms of set costumes, makeup, props, and dialogue, learn how to line script pages, communicate with departments to avoid any continuity errors. Production accounting, the money, the money hashtag the money assist with filing documents for production learn about um, po's petty cash and p card processes review all invoices for appropriate documentation and approval prior to payment assisting with distur- distributing rather not not disturbing but assist with distributing rather all income and production and accounting reports and related documents assist accountants with any special projects corporate accounting assist with filing accounting documents for child pair studios corporate same thing learn about po's petty cash and p car processes learn to um reconcile um 
vendor statements, review all invoices for appropriate documentation and approval prior to payment, assist with distributing all income production, accounting reports, and related documents, assist accounts with any special projects. Social media, digital media, assist with social media marketing strategies, campaigns, and reporting, become a subject matter expert across the major social media platforms, including Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. No YouTube, though? Okay, interesting. Conduct research on target audiences, social media behaviors, and identify brand influencers. Hell to the low right here. Thank you. Much love. Phil loves it right back to you. And also Clubhouse, too. Um, the social audio app. Attend and participate in team meetings, brainstorming sessions, and other presentations. Art and graphics. 3D design manufacturing. Understanding Adobe's InDesign, Illustrator, and Photoshop. Additional experience in Flash html and dreamweaver is a plus will work under the guidance of the art director and digital manager and assist with the creation okay okay nikki news all love beautiful i'll be here uh, with the creation and production of a wide variety of create projects wardrobe slash costumes assist in the coordination of wardrobe and accessories for daily shows while understand the process for selecting merchandise for each show will research trends and make um, seasonal trend board so that could be um fall what colors um maybe you know there might be a cultural moment so that's what they mean by trend boards it's almost like a storyboard other duties include errands and occasional administrative tasks check-in and returning all inventory that come in and out of the department maintaining the fashion accessories closet and picking up packages from mail room hair and makeup learn the basis of glam for production assisting with scheduling and maintenance of wig inventory set up workstations in the sanitation of tools assist with scheduling consultations with performance performers assist with restocking orange supplies needed for production extras casting assist with selected background talent for various scenes assist with booking background talent talent assist with scheduling COVID tests for background talent assist production on set by interfacing checking and monitoring background talent answering phones checking messages and general administrative tasks craft services this is the food okay assist the team with making and providing cash and crew with meals snacks and drinks assist with preparation cleaning and storage of all goods and equipment assist with preparing craft service stations on set at your cast casting holding assist with track of the budget assist with crafty shopping set decoration and props dual programs set decoration and props departments learn the major difference between both departments if an item is read onto the script required for an action or utilized by actor it's a prop all other items on set are considered a part of the dressing from the chairs and desks to the panes and the drapes assist with research and presence presentation board set design assist with keeping track of production schedules assist with making sure props are ready and on set for the scene assist with tracking budget or set design rentals and purchases assist with restocking or supplies locations management learn the process of how location managers secure filming locations assist with creating memos parking maps for cast and crew assist locations team with coordinating learn the negotiation power sources and can requirements for locations assist with scheduling uh, production rental equipment learn the permit processes for off-campus locations we're almost there y'all i'm going through all of these just so that way if you guys do show this show to your um, kids or to anybody that you know they will know each department okay but they're going to be in rotation they're in this program they're going to be rotating through all of these so it's best to know now camera assist director of photography and camera operators while filming assist with keeping track of all camera equipment during production including store equipment in designated location um, in a designated location around between uses assist with keeping inventory of accessories such as rain gear for equipment learn various pro learn the process of loading loading footage learning various shot styles grip and electric learn the basics of scene line assist with keeping track of all grip and electric equipment during production including storing equipment in a designated location between uses assisting with keeping inventory of accessories such as rain gear for equipment learning various lighting techniques for day and night scenes computer information systems those interested in developing their career in the information technology field 
let me tell you something that is one of the hearts and souls of any media production company because they got code all the episodes <laughs> for sure work within the um, it department the information technology information technology department are responsible for the day-to-day -day help desk operations which resolve um in user issues deploying workstations and printers answering help call answering help desk calls logging and logging issues in the help desk system learn various software and troubleshooting techniques post-production editorial run camera cards to and from productions while shooting we'll gather camera reports so basically you know you know the camera shots from the show basically how, how was the shot made what was the intensity of the shot this that third will assist in daily administrative tasks such as um post reports and trackers update post binders with date script notes students will have the opportunity to add projects legal affairs only law students must have completed their first semester of legal study by the application deadline are eligible um law school candidates and paralegals are eligible must possess excellent oral and written communication skills and are proficient in microsoft word and excel and can navigate research also must handle multiple tasks while paying attention to close detail and possess a genuine interest in the legal field assisting with music clearance licensing maths including research researching music publishers and masters that's going to be a very big job that's going to be a very big job for them human resources provide clinical and administrative support to human resources executives assist with day-to-day -day operations of hr hey lady be welcome and glad to have you here just going over um the tyler perry dreamers program just getting everybody up to date here um do do do, -do. Provide clerical and administrative support to human uh, resources executives. Assist with day to day operations of human resources functions and duties. Assist with coordinating human resources needs and trainings. Assist with coordinating communication with candidates and schedule interviews. Hey, Colton Hodge, welcome in, brother. Glad to have you here. Studio and network deliverables. Learn the delivery process of a show slash film. Assist with the weekly um, show, film, audit grid learn the signature to sin, 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 um, signatory start up process for unions and guilds learn to assist with the production manual visions learn how to audit a show and film learn the basics of production more paperwork assist with post and network delivery health and safety assist with planning and overseeing ceo employee safety learn emergency evacuation planning policies and accident reporting assist with safety newsletter and memos assist with scheduling safety trainings assist with covid test scheduling for crew monitoring that crew is adhere to covid protocols assist with restocking ppe gear for crew Ooh, last two y'all community engagement foundation assist the director of community engagement with various administrative tasks cultivate and promote positive relations with staff and community leaders assist with outreach to agencies organizers and partners to conduct presentations assist with coordinate events with members and community partners as needed learn to write grants from the nonprofit foundation security assist with monitoring on lot pedestrian vehicle traffic assist with monitoring premises to ensure that only authorized individuals enter studio premises assist with the on with the drive on check-ins at the welcome center maintain a log of security activities and observes and reports unusual and suspect activities learn how to write rent incident reports and learn production badge projects action and learn um the production badge access process Woo! child jesus christ i don't know how i did all that <laughs> i don't know how i did it but i did it damn it I absolutely did. Hey, GG9, we are just in the middle of talking about the Tyler Perry Dreamers um, internship program. Um, here are the eligibility requirements. If you have college students, tell them, get in the damn room now. Get in here. Damn it. Cousin Brandon trying to help y'all out. Listen, must be a college student enrolled in a TV film training program. High school students are not eligible, but hopefully there will be a high school program coming soon. By the way, if you're in radio, get in this program, damn it. And I'm gonna tell you why. The more you know about the game, the more you'll be the more you'll be better on radio to talk 
to the talent about what's going on in film and TV. You understand? Listen, everybody can get in this thing. Must have a passion to pursue a career in the entertainment industry. Must be at least 18 years of age at time of submission. Now, if you're in college credit plus and you're 17 years old, call Top Air Studios and ask them. And I don't care if they say they can't ask any questions. Go to the website. No, you 17, you want to get in the door. You ask that question, damn it. Hell, that's what the, that's what they're there for, to answer questions at the front desk. They ain't got nothing else to do. Hell, what's wrong with you? Must work as a local tile pair. Students does not provide housing or travel costs for interns. Now, of course, tile pair could hook up with Marriott or Hilton to provide housing for the students. And, of course, there could be a um, bus company in Atlanta that could easily do that. That this is probably the first this is probably the first time that they're doing it, and it is the first time. So they're probably just trying to see how it goes, and then hopefully they can do. It. And Tyler, you got enough social capital that you can pull the trigger and let it make and make it do what it do. Must be available to at least work 16 hours a week for a minimum of six weeks. No intern can work over 40 hours a week. Interns seek in college credit. Students must be registered for an internship for academic credit with their college or university. Must provide official letter on school letterhead verifying that internship course credit will be received for the internship. Proof of school enrollment or class descriptions will not be accepted as verification. Background checks will be administered for all selected interns prior to employment. All interns and all internships are paid $18 an hour. So the application is open. Okay, so I am going to show y'all the application. Are y'all ready? Let's get into some things, okay? Let's get into some things, all right? Well, listen, it's on. Oh, that's. But you gotta be in Atlanta, though. You gotta be in Atlanta, though. You gotta be in Atlanta, though. So here it is here. Um, application. This form came to contains a section that requires longer written answers. Make sure you blocked off enough time to answer these questions before you get the application. The deadline is May 5th at 11.59 Eastern. So you have one month from right down up and now April 5th to May 5th. You have one month to get all this in. Please note the following items are also required along with your application. You will have the opportunity to upload these items at the end of this application. Current resume, official transcript, letter from school slash institution verifying your intern course enrollment and receive credit upon application upon completion rather only students seeking college credit and three letters of recommendation from an employer advisor or professor so of course your name your mail address your last name street address city state zip code college university training program home phone email address in case of emergency contact name relationship phone cell major classification level expected graduation date registrar contact name registrar contact phone and email and then choose your preference now recognize that you are going to be going through all of these okay but if you are going to apply for this make sure that you put your best foot forward so if this was me i'll put myself in social media digital media because that's what i do i would also put myself in creative and development and then are you ready for this now of course you some of you may be thinking <laughs> some of you may be thinking script supervision that i would do no 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 the third thing I would choose is studio and network deliverables. Why? Because I need to know what the studio and network deliverable deliverables are in terms of what they are looking for. So that way I know what to create and what to develop. So that way I can make sure it's distributed on social media, and digital media. That's how you choose your preferences to make sure all of them work for you. Okay. We're breaking this down for y'all. So what do you, so write a pair, write a two to three paragraph for each response to each question. What do you hope to gain out of this internship? What do you want us to know about you? What is your proudest achievement and why? Please select one of the following essay questions and upload them below. Answer the question with a full page response. Write about a time that you failed at something. How did that failure, uh, how did that failure affect you? What attracted you to Tile Paris Studios? What skills can you bring to the company? If you were to give a point speech or TED talk, what what would it be about and why? I wish this was open to content creators, damn it, because damn it, my application.
education would have been through. Damn it. But hell, listen. Let's just hope that there's a content careers program. Amen. Praise him. Hallelujah. Essay, resume, official transcript, official letter from school institution verifying your course um, enrollment, three letters, three letters of recommendation, and then consent. Incomplete applications and dual submit, um, dual um, application, dual um, duplicate submissions will not be considered. So there it is. That's everything you need to know. So with that being said, I'm going to drop this link in the chat. If you know anybody in the ATL, please send them this link. Let them know to get on it. Okay. You have from now, April 5th to May 5th at 11 59 p.m. EST to get your application in. And I wish everybody luck in this. And I hope that this leads to many, many, and I mean many more things for sure. You got one month, damn it. And listen, don't say, oh, I won't get in, Braylon. Da 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 da. Are you kidding me? You won't get in if you don't enter. Hell to the low. Hell wrong with you. Don't tell me what you can and cannot do. I'm um, speaking of um speaking of all that. Let me get to um the Tyler Perry Studios Instagram because I did um post something to um Tyler Perry Studios on their Instagram. I forgot to mention um, a high school program. I forgot to mention that. I forgot to mention that. But let me get it up here. Tyler Perry Studios. Here it is here. I know I had something. I thought I had something. Oh, wait a minute. I know you did not. Hang on. I'm going to make this comment live. Uh Uh-oh, we're not doing this. No, boo-boo. No, no, no. 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 No, no, no doing this Tyler Perry Studios I'm going to delete my damn comment I know you like oh website not working hang on website not working hang on I know exactly where that comment is give me one more I thought they deleted my comment I'm like I know website not working there we go In addition, hopefully, there will be a high school program as well. Maybe at Tyler Perry Studios and at DDA Disney Dreamers can create Disney Dreamers University Tyler Perry Studios with a end of the program trip to Walt Disney World 
I would love to be a part of it. In addition, would love to be a TPS dreamer, fire side. Oh, oh, there we go. I'll say, let me type out fireside chat speaker. Can let's make this happen now. There you go. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to screenshot that. Hang on, sorry, y'all. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to screenshot that. I'm also going to screenshot it on my phone. Oh, that's not what I wanted. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to screenshot that. screenshot that so that way I have it now you probably are thinking now Bray what are you doing oh guys sometimes tacking yourself can lead to things you do see what I said right I said Ty Perry students I speak life into this program I see a content careers program scholarships and grants program a dis a Tyler Perry dreamers content creator crew reality competition on BT plus edition reform media hopefully it's a part of this too but I speak nothing but light love joy and blessings to y'all keep being amazing in addition hopefully there'll be a high school program as well maybe Tyler Perry Studios and um Top and Dreamers Academy can create Disney Dreams University at Top Air Studios with the end of the program trip to Walt Disney World. I would love to be a part of it. In addition, I would love to be a Tyler Perry Dreamer Fireside Chat speaker. Let's make this happen. Now, I'm not saying that by tagging myself and tagging Dreamers Academy that something's going to happen. But hey, the possibility of it happening has increased just a little bit. Just by putting myself out there. If you don't think the social media team doesn't check their comments when they get tagged, you must be out your ever loving mind. Like I said, I give game for free. It's up to y'all to choose it or not. So, what I'm going to do now, watch this. Y'all want to do some media live? Want to do some media live with me? Some media live, shall we? Just, let's have a little fun. <laughs> hey, Revelation 2023. We'll have a little fun this this evening, this good old evening. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. We're going to do a story. Create. So we're going to choose both of these next. So I'm gonna do separate, separate. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, let me get this up because I we're going to do this live. I've done it live before, but not like this, not like this. Okay. So we're going to have a little fun here with me. Okay, so now we're going to do, do a little tacky tagging at Tyler Perry Studios and at Tyler Perry. Thank you, thank you, thank you once again for this amazing opportunity. I hope that this sends nothing but blessings to you. 
And I hope that more opportunities is to come from the Tyler Perry Dreamers division at Tyler Perry Studios. So now what we're going to do is we're going to shrink that into that one. Walt Disney World. Let's make Disney Dreamers. Y'all gonna see what I'm about to do live. Hang on. Disney Dreamers. Academy. A college edition for college students in partner ship with at Tyler their studios with a end of the program trip to at Walt Disney World Resort at Raylan would love to be a part of this. Now, you guys are about to see what happens when you tag yourself. Hang on. Like I said, y'all can do what y'all want to do, but I'm just praying to lead five. Would love to be a part of this. Yes, indeed, I would. Got that, got that. Okay, so now we're going to want to share. And also share on Facebook. I would love to collaborate. I'm a content creator. All right, y'all ready to see what I did live? Let's look at what I did live. Let's look at it, shall we? And yes, that is Jill Scott, y'all. I forgot it was her birthday yesterday, so I did a little something, something for Jilly Jill, okay? I did something for little Jilly Scott right here, okay? This is this is everything. Okay, so just... I know Cheryl Rose was happy because she's like, not my soap opera being ruined. So y'all ready? Here we go. Now... If we zoom in here, I tag Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry Studios, the Dreamers Division at Tyler Perry Studios. Brainly would love to be a part of this, along with my comment right there, right? So then the next story right there. Boom. So what is going to end up happening is that all those people that I tagged, they are going to get a notification to their inbox. I will show y'all. So see here. I'll let y'all see on the bigger screen. Give me one moment. I'll give you one moment. One moment, Tom. One moment, Tom. So I'm gonna go to messages. And then boom. So when you tag somebody, it gives them a notification. So as you see, I mentioned Disney Dreamers Academy in the story. So not saying anything is going to happen. But now let's see what they do, right? All right, we're going to take a little commercial break. We have more virtual tour live coming at you. We got Beyonce on deck next. We have 99 Cent Stores. We have Television City. And then, ladies and gentlemen, Christian Collins. Oh, we're talking about right from this space, right here, right after this on virtual tour live. Like, comment, share, subscribe. We are live on tour. Roll it. For years, people have been singing all about my chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. 
Nobody has a love affair with chicken like you do with my slow marinated hand breaded Popeyes bona fide chicken. And right now it's Love That Chicken Month at Popeyes with two big pieces and a biscuit for just $2.99. So what are you waiting for? Come get some of my world famous chicken and raise your mighty voices. Love that chicken for Popeyes. What is this feeling that everyone's feeling? Ding, ding, ding. With such feeling. Ding, ding, ding. This winning feeling. Ding, ding, ding. This tingle of success. Ding, ding, ding. This sensation of triumph. Ding, ding, ding. This sensation. Oh, I can feel it. This season, everyone gets the winning feeling. Win guaranteed prizes like 250 grand and more. Oh, yeah, Dave and Busters. Ding, ding, ding. Hey, grab me one, too. Copeland's is not just some fancy place for your big night out. In fact, there's no occasion too big. Or if you like, too small. Copeland's. There's always something good. Tour live. Glad to have y'all here. We kicked it out, kicked it off rather, with Michael Jackson. Apparently, um, there are some um, people that are in a lawsuit with the estate over uh, Michael Jackson and sexual harassment. And there was some pictures of some privates that they want to get to. Then we talked about Los Angeles and a thirty million dollar bank heist. That's right, thirty million dollars. You heard me correctly. And then we just got done talking about the Tyler Perry Dreamers um, internship program, which if you want more information on, on that program, here is the link right there. There's the link right there. You have from April 5th to May 5th at 11.59 to get your application in. All right. More virtual draw live coming at you right from this space right here and right now, ladies and gentlemen, Paul McCartney says beyonce's blackbird cover reinforces the civil rights message that inspired him to write this comes to us from cnn via yahoo entertainment paul mccartney is singing praises for beyonce's version of blackbird the music legend on thursday wrote on his instagram page that he is so happy with the grammy winner's cover of the 1969 Beatles track that is included on her newly released at two cowboy car album under um under the slightly revised style blackbird i think she does a magnificent version of it and it reinforces the civil rights message that inspired me to write the song in the first place he wrote he urged to he he went on to urge anyone who has not heard it yet to check it out um originally read by mccartney amid the 1960s civil rights movement in the united states blackbird was inspired by the little rock now a group of black students who were the first to desegregate schools in the late 1950s arkansas when i first saw the footage of the television on the television in the early 60s of the black girls being turned away from school i found it shocking i can't believe that still that still 
that still in these days there are places where this kind of thing is happening right now incarnate wrong on his post thursday anything my song and beyonce fabulous version can do to ease racial tension would be a great thing it makes me very proud the powerful meaning behind the original song as the emotional depth of beyonce's 2024 cover which is amplified by four up-and-coming black female country artists featured on the track and they are tara kennedy tanner and dale buckle bunny um britney spencer and Irena roberts McCartney in his post on Thursday wrote that he spoke to Beyonce on FaceTime and she thanked him for Ryan Blackbird and for letting her cover it. I told her the pleasure was all mine. I thought she'd done a killer version of the song. So shout out to Beyonce for including that great, great song from Paul McCartney. And also shout out to the Little Rock Nine, um, nine amazing black people that went into that school and changed the world for you, me, and for all of us as a people as a society and as a culture all right y'all we got more virtual tour live coming at you right from the space right here right now and trust me i will drop the link because i know y'all got a lot to say i got a lot to hear from y'all so 99 cent only stores are winding down yes they are um this is this is a real story y'all um the 99 cent only stores today announced plans to um, commence a orderly wind down of his business operations. The company has entered into an agreement with Hitco um, Global to, among other things, liquidate all merchandise owned by the company and dispose of certain fixtures, furnishings, and equipments at company stores. Sales under this agreement are expected to begin April 5th. That is today. It will be carried out at all 371 of the company store locations. Hitco Real Estate HRE is managing the sale of the company's real estate assets. It's both owned and leased in Arizona, California, Nevada, and Texas. To help facilitate the wind down, the company has appointed Christian Chris Wells, managing um, director of Alvarez and Marshall, as chief restructuring officer, and Mike um, Mizonic, chief interim chief executive officer of 99 um, Cent Only Stores, and managing editor at Alvarez and um, Marshall will step down. This was an extremely difficult decision and is not the outcome we expected um, or hope to achieve since it's soaring. Unfortunately, the last several years have presented significant and lasting challenges in the retail environment, including the unprecedented impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, shifting consumer brand, rising of rising levels of strength, persistent inflammatory pressures, and other macroeconomic headwinds, all of which have greatly hindered the company's ability to operate. We appreciate, we deeply appreciate rather the decade employees, customers, partners, and communities who have for decades. Engaged in extensive analysis of all available and credible alternatives to identify a solution that will allow the business to continue. Following months of actively pursuing these alternatives, the company ultimately decided that a orderly wind down was necessary and the best way to maximize the value of 99 cents only stores assets. Founded in 1982, this is about 99 cent only stores. Founded in 1982, 99 cent since only stores LLC currently operates 300 nearly 371 stores located in California, Texas, Arizona, and Nevada. 99 Cent Only Stores LLC offers a assortment of name brand and other attractively priced merchandise and compelling seasonal product offers. For more information, visit 99only.com. Um, forward-looking statements. Certain information include, included in this release contains forward-looking statements such as involving risk and uncertainty, which could cause actual results to differ materially from such forward-looking statements, many of which are beyond the company's ability to control, nor reputation or warranty is given as to the achievement or reasonableness of any forward-looking statements discussed in this release. The company makes no guarantee with respect to any forward-looking statements contained in this this release via content media at 99only.com so it's sad to see it close because you know that is um that is a legend in the world of dollar general and um family dollar and the dollar tree and also five below as well so here's the story here Oh, of course, we got an advertisement. Okay, not a, not a bad advertisement.
years, the 99 cent only, more than 40 years, the 99 cent only stores are closing their doors. The operators of the popular discount chain, where you could buy anything from cleaning supplies to food and even clothing, say they aren't making enough money to survive. The closure will leave nearly 14,000 employees without a job and millions of bargain hunters devastated. KTLA 5, Samantha Cortese joins us live from East Hollywood with more on why the chain is going out of business. Sam. Mm. Sharon, Micah, the Gold family started the 99 cent only stores in 1982 and they quickly expanded now in states Texas, Nevada, Arizona and here in California. And tonight shoppers are devastated to learn all these stores are closing. So many people on social media saying this got them through unemployment, hard times with their family, working on a low income, and especially we're hearing from people who just love to bargain. Is it true they closed all the 99s? Yes. That's, what do you think about that? That's crazy because, I mean, when times are tough, man, you don't have a lot of money. 99 was always the store to go to. Shocking news for shoppers. The 99 store, formerly the 99 cents only store, is closing all 371 locations Man. for good. If you're low on cash or <laughs> you just want to be more frugal because, you know, now everything's so expensive. So the company officially announced plans to close down, citing financial difficulties stemming from the pandemic, changing consumer demand and rising inflation. Shoppers were devastated. Prices are cheap, cheaper than the other stores. So what I'm going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? I don't know. I need to look for another place, but it's difficult in this time. I think that they should keep it open for certain people who can't afford expensive food. They also okay. say crime is rampant. We witness multiple people grabbing items and walking oh, wow. out. Security tells us it can happen up to 20 times a 20 day. 20 times a day. I, uh, tell the police or some of the guards that is in the store, but sometimes are just passive because we cannot do nothing. Liquidation sales begin Friday. I guess I shot one last time, man, and man, I don't know. It's like everything's closing. I don't, and it's sad that everything's closing like that. Again, 99 cent only stores employs between 14 and 17,000 people who are out of a job. Some people we spoke with had a meeting with their manager that they said was very emotional. Others said they found out via email. And Sharon and Micah on our social media tonight were asking how people are reacting to this news. So many people saying it got them through hard times, but also they used to go there for everyday items that cost more in a grocery store. A few things on the list batteries, Hot Wheels, gift bags and cards, eyelashes, and a lot of people saying they're going to miss a cheap spot to buy some holiday decor. Here in East Hollywood, Samantha Cortese, back to you. Yeah, it's a staple. All right. Well, thank you so much for that. And um, shout out to everybody. And I, and I understand how they feel because people don't really recognize that everybody does not have the same um, everybody does not have the same um, resources to make it in life um, there's nothing wrong with shopping at the 99 cent store um, Dollar Tree as you see here prices increasing and as the 99 cent stores close um, it's quite sad because I know that there could be some celebrity or some collective that could buy this out very easily um, of course 1.6 billion dollar buyout 2011 um, it's quite sad it's quite sad so i pray for all those um i pray for all those employees that they do find jobs and over the 99 cent store will at least help them find other jobs because um 14 000 to 17 000 people is a lot of people they just closed neighborhood walk neighborhood walmart neighborhood market right by my place because of all the thefts oh my lord jesus wow 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 mm, my lord all right y'all more virtual tour live coming at you right from this space right here and right now they are getting ready to invest a billion dollars you heard me one billion dollars for a historic television cities um update this comes to us from arca max um, via the los angeles times 
Owners of Television City have scaled back their plans to enlarge and modernize the landmark Los Angeles studio where CBS began making um, shows to broadcast nationwide at the dawn of the television age. Formerly known as CBS Television City, the studio sits next to Pablo's tourist attractions, the original farmer's market, and the Grove Shopping Center where Extra actually taped their um, show. So Extra used to be in the studio, then they did it live. They taped it from Grove Shopping Center. They wanted to bring um, entertainment news to a live audience, then they moved it to Universal Orlando. They, they moved it to um, Universal Studios Hollywood, and now they're back in the newsroom. Personally, I thought Extra was the best when it taped from Universal Studios Hollywood because you had all the sound stages right there and then not to mention if you're shooting from the grove after you get done you can go get a burger if you're a host that's just me though i i, I love people um in the fairfax district where it's been operating since 1952 as a factory for such um shows as on the family shunny and share and american idol cbs sold the famous um, studio for 750 million dollars um to in 2019 to Hackman Capital Partners, one of the world's largest movie lot owners and operators, CBS continues to occupy Television City as a tenant. Hackman Capital announced a $1.25 billion plan two years ago to expand and upgrade facilities on the lot at Beverly Boulevard and Fairfax Avenue in hopes of harnessing strong demand in the region for sound stages, production facilities, and offices for rent or studio lots. So when are you going to pay the actors and actresses? When are you going to pay the grips and the crew and the lighters? When are you going to pay the directors and the producers? When are you going to pay the people that's that's able to create all this stuff on y'all sound stages? That's what I want to know. Because that's that like after strike. Child, Hollywood's kind of te- look. Teeter time. Teeter time. That's what it is. All it takes is one swig of the thread being let go okay hackman capital on friday will update its application to the city to enhance the studio saying it's responding to feet it is responding to feedback about the project from nearby residents stakeholders and city officials they have approved the new project is expected to be completed by 2028 studio owners also brought in a new art design architect farm fosters and partners the london-based firm is led by norman foster a prominent architect whose designs included the pickle shaped gherkin skyscraper in london and the master plan for the two billion you heard me correctly two billion dollar one beverly hills condominium hotel complex under construction beverly, beverly hills hackman capital which operates studios in the united states canada and the united kingdom is also responding to changing conditions in the office retail market um, rental market rather um, which is um which has contracted um since the COVID 19 pandemic drove many companies to work remotely for at least some of the time plans still call for creating new officer offices rather but there will be fewer of them foster's new design eliminates a 15 story office tower on the west side of the lot cutting 150,000 square feet of offices to rent to entertainment related firms another 15 story office tower remains in the plan but other building heights have been lowered, particularly along the perimeters hackman capital said the plan still represents an addition of more than 980,000 square feet to the 25 acre site at beverly boulevard and fairfax avenue that retains a suburban style low density appearance with sound stages low-rise offices and support facilities flanked by asphalt parking lots the company's proposal calls for combining old and new office space to create 700,000 square feet of offices to support production on the lot and additional 550,000 square feet of offices for rent to entertainment media companies. The, com- the um, company said office space behind the studio gates is in high demand in the Los Angeles area as as has been snapped up by other studios such as big Hollywood players such as Netflix and Amazon. The industry wants to have a location where they can do production have offices in a self-contained campus environment says real estate broker jeff peon of cbre who represents hackman capital having all the different components that make a production in one location is very attractive to the industry yeah you know will be attractive to the industry as well paying the people that allows <laughs> that allows you to have a backlot how about that too once again 
Uh, plans for Television City also calls for a new commissary and more than four acres for production base camps. The streetscapes will be improved to be more visually appealing to passersby with wider sidewalks on Fairfax Avenue where pedestrian pedestrians now pass by if it's parking lot there will be shops and restaurants serving the public on the ground floor of all this buildings that could be reached from only inside the lot the separation is part of the balancing act hackman capital is attempting to make television city feel more friendly to the neighborhood while retaining the security and exclusivity of a closed campus that appeals to celebrities and others who make movies and television shows Landlords also charge a premium for office space on movie lots because they are close to the action for independent production companies and offer the ch um, chastened prize by many in the entertainment industry. Filming activity in Los Angeles has fallen off substantially in the wake of the strikes by the actors and by the writers and actors last year, according to Film LA, a nonprofit organization that tracks on location shoot days and filing permits in the region. The downward trend compounded a dip that emerged in late 2022 as on location filming in Los Angeles to dive as studios bear back movie and television production that surged during the COVID-19 pandemic. California is finding it particularly hard to rebound from the strikes because it's more expensive to shoot here. Multiple multiple production executives told the Times that makes Los Angeles attractive to studios who get to call, um, cut costs after major disrupt industry disruption. To Hackman Capital Entertainment Executive Michael Hackerman, the downturn film and pullback from California suggests that regulations and studio operators should further support production companies. Our actual customers tells us that all of them want to stay in Los Angeles. He said, we have the best crews in the world here, but we don't have enough modern sound stages in premier locations. We also have to push the state on tax incentives so we don't lose business outside the city. Woo, the entertainment industry is our city signature industry. We don't invest in the future. We are really at the risk of losing it. Hackman said, we are still emerging from the once in a lifetime generation we will strike and the production stoppage costing Angelia is approximately 6.5 billion, you heard me, 6.5 billion or more in lost wages and economic activity, which makes it clear how important this entry is to our city, especially the people who work in the entertainment, in the entertainment every day. Hackman Capital's proposal calls for raising the number of television um, city stages to at least 15 from eight along with production support facilities so that means that would be control rooms that would be green rooms and other things of that um, energy to make room for the planned additions parking would be um, converted from surface lots sorry I'm trying to make sure There we go. Okay. We go. Um, to make room for the planned additions, parking will be converted to surface lots and garage structures and underground spaces capable of parking 4,930 vehicles. Two stages built in the 1990s on the east side of the lot will be demolished as a part of planned as a part of a planned reconfiguration of the site. The four original stages built by CBS in 1952 preserved along with other historical design elements created by Los Angeles architect William Perena, who also designed such noteworthy structures such as the futuristic theme building in the middle of Los Angeles International Airport and the Trans-America Pyramid Office Tower in San Francisco. Um, Perena's long-range plan for Television C, um, convinced in the 1950s, was expansive, said Bob Hale, created director of Rios, the master plant architect of Hatman Capital's proposed makeover. Hale said Perina's original concept for the complex to grow to 24 stages and 2.5 million square feet of production space includes several multi-story office buildings. Almost done, y'all. I know this is a long one. Please forgive me. Just trying to give y'all everything I can. It was built in a way that it could be disassembled and incrementally extended, Hale said, for a number of reasons that didn't happen. In an effort to make it happen now, Hackman Capital set out to get the support of Councilwoman Katie Vronowski and surround in the surrounding community over five years. The company met with nearly 3,000 neighbors, Hackman Capital said. Among the group supporting the project are the Holocaust Museum of Los Angeles or Holocaust Museum of LA, Los Angeles Conservatory, Los Angeles, Orange County's Building and Construction Trace Council, Mid City West Neighborhood Council, and Film LA, Hackman Capital said. The first proposal drew fire from neighboring businesses, the Grove and Farmers Market, which sent letters um, to residents in, 20, in 2022 calling 
the television state project of massively scaled speculative development, which, if approved, will overwhelm, disrupt, and forever transform the community. In July 2022, an executive representing the Grove owner, Rick Caruso, appeared before a committee of the Midwest Neighborhood Council and said television safety project will create complex issues for the neighborhood, including traffic, parking, and construction. Caruso himself has said he does not oppose the redevelopment of Tuffalo City. The Beverly Fairfax Community Alliance, which was founded by the Grove of Farmers Market, have been more blunt, warning that the expanded um, site will clog Fairfax Avenue, Beverly Boulevard, LaBera Avenue, with, and Third Street with traffic. Even those accustomed to living in LA, traffic and parking nightmares would be shot at how much um, worse it can be, the group said on its website. To address such concerns, um, we're at the end, y'all. Thank God. To address such concerns, Hackman Capital said the new plan would reduce the number of estimated car trips to Television City by 5,000 to 8,700. The landlord also plans to move its mobility hub from the Grove, from Grove, from the Grove Street Drive to the um, east side of Fairfax at one at First Street on the west side of the lot. The mobility hub will serve as will serve public transit, ride shares, and other passenger drops drop offs, as well as employee shuttle buses to the subway stop being built at Fairfax and um, Wilshire Boulevard. Our goal with Television City, particularly on the perimeter all on our public park edges, was to find a really good interface with the community. So it wasn't just a studio with a blank wall, but we are active and engaged. Said Brian Galani, a development executive for Hackman Capital. Community members told Hackman Capital that they want the streets outside the studio to have a sense of connection between mom and pop business on Fairfax, um, Farmers Market, the Grove Pan at Pan Pacific Park. Blotney said outlets um, on the edge of the lot, such as shops and restaurants, will be limited to a total of 20,000 square feet. He said just enough to help activate the streets but not compete with our neighbors. Woo! Jesus Christ, that was a lot of reading. So, you know, I have the info on that and they have come to an agreement. Okay. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Thank you, Gigi. As soon as I drop the link, you can come up here and give that intel there. Thank you, gorgeous. Um, here is, now this is 18 pages, y'all. Now, I'm not reading all these 18 pages, but I got this just to show y'all what it can look like. So that is the Beverly Gate. That is one of the um, offices. It looks like it's a recording of spot there. And then that's what it may look like there as well you see here a bridge with a dinosaur filming location there more here you see cafe fairfax mobility hub here television city right there the signature red awning i'm seeing from beverly boulevard by the way that um entrance is where jeff probst um, from survivor would go for the live reunion so you know how everybody would vote and he would get on a jet ski and then somehow magically he would be at television city and walk through all the um the tiki torches into a live studio audience that's what that is so pretty cool all right y'all we gotta talk about them. we gotta talk about them. we gotta talk about them. Christian Combs, ladies and gentlemen, son of Pete Diddy, accused of sexual assault and drugging woman in a looming lawsuit. Christian Combs, the youngest son of Sean Diddy Combs, is accused by attorney Tyrone Blackburn of sexually assaulting and drugging a woman. Tyrone reportedly told by magazine that he spoke with an alleged victim who plans on filing a lawsuit via takeout has learned. Vibe reports that the lawsuit against Christian, the son of embowed rap mogul Shonday Combs and the late Kim Porter, rest in peace to that queen right there, has yet to be officially filed, but currently is in the works. The magazine did not identify the alleged victim or details surrounding the previous lawsuit. If the lawsuits are is filed, it will be the latest in a series of lawsuits against Diddy and his family. Now, you remember there was a lawsuit about somebody, I think, 17 years old, and they did not want their name to be mentioned. And the judge said, well, they cannot be anonymous. If they want to sue Diddy, they have to come out. So I don't know if that's the same case here, but here we go. It will be the latest in a series of lawsuits against Diddy 
he and his family, the former billionaire, is facing at least a dozen lawsuits from men and women who claim that they were harassed, groomed, or trafficked by him. Diddy has seven children. His first biological child, a son, was born in 1993 to fashion designer and stylist Misa Hitton. He attended UCLA on a football scholarship and he graduated in 2016. Combs has had an on again, off again relationship with Kimberly Poor, 1970 to 2018, which lasted from 1994 to 2007. He, uh, he raised and adopted Quincy, um, born 1991, um, Porter's son from a previous relationship from singer producer um, Combs rival Al B. Shore. Now, I don't know who this is, but amen to all that. Amen. I'm just, I'm listening. Y'all know I like what I like, okay? Um, together they have a son named Christian, born 1998, twin daughters born 2006. Kim Poor passed away of pneumonia on November 5th, 2018, five months before the birth of his twins. Combs had a daughter born to Sarah Chapman. He took legal responsibility for her in October of 2007. Combs' seventh child was born on October 5th, 2022. A daughter, I think it was, um, let me see. Diddy's seventh child. So the uh, mother is, her name is Dana Tran. So that is the mother of um, Diddy's seventh child. Try to pull it up for y'all. So here she is here. By the way, her Instagram is very beautiful, by the way. Very beautifully curated um, Instagram. So she's a 28-year-old woman working in the cybersecurity sector and is the mother of the seven child. So there you go. I'll go in and edit that. Damn it. I hate when they do that shit. I really do. Um... But anyway, so there you go. So that is that there. I like what I like. I mean, what do you want me to do? Um, <laughs> so, final story with this. Um, Diddy's son, Christian, 26, who from sexual assault during Diddy's yacht party in 2022. Um, Diddy's um, 26-year-old son, Christian Combs, is being accused of sexual assault, which occurred during a 2022 yacht party media takeout, has learned. A woman named Grace O. Mahargi was working as a steward on a yacht that was ran by Christian's father, Diddy. The father and son held an infamous day party on the yacht on New Year's. Grace claimed that while doing her job, Christian became un uncomfortably fixated on her her and started coming on to her inappropriately at one point grace said diddy's son fed her um, fed her a drink of alcohol which she suspected was spite after she became inebriated by the drink the, the grown son of Diddy allegedly groped her and tried to kiss her grace said that she has audio recordings of what she claims to depict her telling christian that she's not interested in him and try to get away from him while they were together in a studio on the yacht eventually she said she was able to get away but things got worse Christian reportedly cornered her and tried to force her to perform oral sex on him, but she says she fought him off and, and includes pictures of her forearm, which she claims was um, bruised in the altercation. So you see the bruises right there. Eventually, Grace says that she was able to escape, but claims that suffered mental and has suffered mentally and emotionally ever since. Grace has a witness to all this too. Rodney Jones, Diddy's former hired music producer, who was also soon Diddy, was also there for the shot bar. She is being repped by Tyrone Black, but the same lawyer who filed Rodney's lawsuit. Now, y'all, oh, when it all, when it all falls down, I'm telling you, oh, when it all falls down, that's that's all I got. Like, first of all, it was Diddy. Now, allegedly, allegedly, alle allegedly, it was a son. Now, I've lost a child. 
I told you 2024 is the year of the unexpected. Y'all, we got through that in one hour, 34 minutes, and two seconds. Child. Talk about giving you a full damn show. I'm going to drop the link if you guys would like to come on up here. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Pin for y'all. And by the way, don't forget to tune in um, tomorrow, either at 3.05 or 4.30, because um, we got the Ray Love panel, myself, a Queen TV GG9, talk with Solana, our main man Q. We will be reviewing part one of the reunion that is about 30 minutes away, happening um, at 8, 7 central, only on own, only here, hashtag own, keeping it real. Um, speaking of that, I actually sent something to the um, group of chat. This a did, this a did, this a did, this a did, this a did. Because I actually tagged nephew Tommy. Yes, I did. I tagged nephew Tommy. I did. I don't know why it's not going down. Oh, here it is. Here it is here. Now, this was a pretty big request, but I'm like, listen, you never know. So I said, nephew time experience. Hey, I would love to interview on my YouTube channel about, oh, Lord, ready to love. I would love to interview you on my YouTube channel about ready to love. Um, I'm on panel with ready to love five, GG9, um, and Q. We have been reviewing the show for three seasons and and absolutely love the Sean No season 10. It's coming up. It's in Philadelphia. And we would love to get ahead of the new season. We'd love to interview on my YouTube channel. Or we would love to interview um, you as a collective. So can we talk? By the way, congratulations on 10 seasons of television. From the Steve Harmon Morning Show. Open it up for the Ufa Van Draws and the Prank Phone Calls. You are a legend. And don't, and don't anybody else tell you anything different. So you never know where Braylon Lee might show up in a comment section. Um, but yeah, so the link is pinned. Like I said, if you guys want to come on up, um, Gigi, I know she had some information on, um, about what was going on with the, um, LA, um, about the LA deal with Television City. Gigi, you want to come up? By the way, y'all, I'm going to turn on my camera now because I've done the whole show for over an hour. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So Tyler Perry Studios haven't seen it yet because I just posted it, but give it time. Because hopefully they will see it. Yes, indeed. I wish I could. I'm the only lady in the house. My hubby, my sons, their friends are watching basketball. You can't imagine what it sounds like. Oh, I only can. I only can't imagine what it sounds like for sure there. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Just another damn story. What a surprise. Um, four people in the building. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Glad to have all you here in the building. We are just chilling out. Hey, GG, welcome up. How are you? Glad to have you in. Gigi? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. How's it going? Thank you much. No, no Listen, problem. You know, anytime I can come up, I'm definitely going to come up. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Now I can. Yes. Gigi, you there? I could hear you for a minute. GG, you there? Okay, hold on. I think I had to turn off. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. I think I'm delayed somehow, so... 
time to okay can you hear me yes i can hey. okay hey lady b listen if i'm delayed i'm sorry i don't know why like i just i feel like um my voice is delayed right now but uh You're how delayed. is everyone it's Doing the weekend good. Woo. what a um jam-packed weekend um you know like i said i never really know what the show is until i see the topics you know what i mean some topics are more morning um, edition some are more prime time edition but you know doing good so far right you know what's so crazy about the whole 99 cent store thing is this morning when i woke up my hubs is like damn the 99 cent store is gonna close and they're like there's a plethora of 99 cent stores around here like 99 yes. cent store like you said is like you know the dollar general because there's there's a lot of places around here that don't have a dollar general like Correct. you ask people about a dollar general they're like what's that so right. you know for for the 99 cent store to close like they're closing walmart like they just announced closing sea world like there's a lot of closures that's going on in california like and something is going on like it's there's too much stuff closing down at, like simultaneously right yeah it's um it i mean i think every since and yolanda welcome in she says hey braylon i'm super late doing auntie dewey with my nephew barbershop and there you know we got spent we got we have to spend time with these youngsters hey, before they leave for college and don't want him or i understand and i love you and value as always you are more than good in my book family time is important um you know i i, I sense that i sense that it's been affecting um pretty much every industry since 2020 in some shape form or fashion um and it, it seems to be palpable um you know what i mean so mm -hmm. yeah i so just want to say you covered a lot of good topics today like a lot of good stuff much happening you definitely you know you always come with that info thank you very much i appreciate that i try i do what i can <laughs> i definitely do what i can i definitely wanted people to know about the tyler perry dreamers internship program um because i think that that's such a huge um door that is going to help so many college students um in atlanta and hopefully um, like I said, Tyler yeah, Perry absolutely. has connections to Marriott and Hilton, and you could probably do a bus company to make sure there's transportation. So hopefully after this year, mm -hmm. okay, we'll get that in place, Tyler, because you got more money than I do to make that happen. Okay, you can get that rent off on your taxes and everything. So right. But yes, indeed. That's no, definitely you, like yeah go ahead it's definitely something that i feel like is is a a good way for young uh, young film entrepreneurs or people who want to get their foot in the door in a great, great film studio to be able to have that opportunity to be able to you know do an internship with tyler perry studios right now sex at a song but i mean you know it's okay because I'm here where Hollywood is, so it, it, I guess it makes up for it. Whatever, yeah. Right. That's that's definitely well, like that's because one thing is in this industry, there's really not a lot of black directors, writers, things like no. that, and the ones that are here, like it's it's only a cluster, and most of the time you really don't see them. It's on, you know, like Tubi or you know other maybe like smaller shows now there are some shows that that have black writers or black you know black producers or, or pas or anything like that you know they have that but Correct. you don't see too many of them and what women so i really would hope that there, there would be a, a, a lot of young women 
who decide that film is, is for them. And instead of just wanting to be in, start learning the, the background too. Learn behind Absolutely. the camera, learn how to screen write, learn how to edit, learn audio, learn, you know what I'm saying? Learn different things, become a PA, you know, learn to be a gaffer, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. Absolutely. Like go ahead and, and take the time to learn all of the aspects of film so that you can right. have more opportunities and create more opportunities for yourself in the industry. Absolutely. And for those of you who saw my comment and I tagged Reform Media Group is because of this article from Deadline, Denise Davis and Reform Media Group Inc. development deal with Tyler Perry Studios exclusive. Denise Davis and her Reform Media Group banner have entered into a development deal with Tyler Perry Studios. The pact covers TV, unscripted and first look feature film projects with the aim of bringing more diverse storytelling across both television and film. In addition to the deal announcement, Reform also announced Monday that it has hired um, Melora Rivera as a producer. I could not be more excited to be joining forces with Denise Davidson, ushering in a new era at Tyler Perry Studios where we invite creators to have the freedom to tell the kind of stories that they truly believe in, Perry said. It's rare for Tyler Perry Studios to enter deals with other creators, writers, producers. Perry has one other deal with former Lionsgate executive Tim Pallad. The two teamed um, to create Pe Peachtree and Vine Productions, a non-exclusive joint venture focusing on film, TV, and digital scripted and non-scripted content. Three-time Emmy nominee Davis began her career producing music videos, short films, and digital content, which included Issa Rae's acclaimed web series, The Misadventures of Awkward Black Girl. She went on to serve as co-executive producer of Rae's HBO hit comedy series, Insecure, among recent credits, include two other HBO comedy series. She served as a producer on a Black Lady sketch show and executive producer for Rap Ish, which was canceled, unfortunately. Davis is also the co-founder of Color Creative, a management company dedicated to support diverse creators. She launched Reform Media Group in 2020 as a means to produce socially and culturally relevant television and film content. The company focuses on amplifying marginalized voices across the entertainment industry. Davis is rep by Creative Arts Agency and Gang, Tyree. Rainer Brown, Passerman Perry is rep by William Morris Endeavor, John Johnson Sapiro, Sloot, and Cole. So sometimes it is important for you to know the moves that are happening in the game. And I am probably the only person in that comment section that tab read for me. You know. Real talk. So. Gigi, you can go ahead. Gigi, you there? She may have slipped away from her uh, microphone for a minute. Um, we are still here. Yeah, I'm here. Out. Oh God. Um, yeah. No, no I'm definitely here. Um. But yeah, Issa Rae, I definitely love Issa Rae. I love... Huh? No, no, go ahead. You're good. You're good. Go ahead. No, I was just saying Issa Rae is definitely a great producer, um, you know, writer. She, like, she, she does her thing. And actually, I actually like to go to... Uh, in LA, it's called Lamert Park, but that's where they filmed a lot of movies and a lot of uh, the episodes in Insecure. Like her yes. work office was right there in Lamert Park, and also like in Straight Out of Compton and a lot of other movies they film over there at in that area. So I love to just go there because it's it's really rich in Black culture, and I just love going there. It, anytime I get to go there, and which is I try to go there at least like every weekend every other weekend but right. yeah definitely a lot of great culture and great places for filming out here in la oh, and a lot of great opportunities but there's a lot of great opportunities here in san diego as well yes like 
and it's it costs a lot less to do filming here in San Diego than what than what it would be in um, Hollywood. But yeah, any like that I just still I like, like the fact that he's given the opportunity for people who have a passion for film to, you know, what I'm saying, yeah, come and and intern. I just hope that he's not because you know there's been a lot of a lot of talk about how he is as a as a business person mm-hmm. you know so but you know he's opened up a lot of doors for people too so yes, you yes. know do your thing it is it's always great to see when black people you know definitely give back to the community um and just open up doors for our, or for other people there's a lot of gatekeepers like stop you know stop closing the doors open up the doors for people like so that there's Absolutely. less poverty like give the opportunity to you know come out of oppression like and and so i i really respect it i definitely yeah. respect it no oh, for sure respect for sure tyler perry and what he's i know doing. i know for sure and i know that you typed in the um chat when i was talking about television city that you said that you had info and that they came to an agreement on that correct what the television city deal That we're in agreement of what? No, when when I talked about the television city, yeah, you know, that they're doing the expansion and stuff. You said that they've come to an agreement. Okay, so yeah, when it when it comes to info on television city, um, yes, when it comes to the strike with the actors and writers have come to an agreement so writers are have come back and everybody's getting back to work but there's another part that's separate from the writers or from you know like the writers and actors and stuff now they're on strike but they're working that out too so oh god um but yeah, that's that's what I was saying when I said the info that they have, they've come to an agreement. So that part of the strike is over. But there's another part that has, you know, arise with another part of the industry. Right. But that's also why you're also seeing now like a lot, a lot of new shows that are that are being pushed out, a lot of new movies that are coming out, like and it's like in rapid succession, like they're just coming writers sure. like all right we're gonna do what we're gonna do no absolutely and you know i was thinking about television but, city and but and when it for comes people, to the industry yes. there is still a lot of work that can be done correct and for those of you who may not remember um extra being at the grove um, they would get ready at Victory um, Studios. That's where they would get their hair, their makeup, and everything done. That would be home base for them. That's where, like, the reporters and everybody else would be. And then to film the show, the actual show, they would be live from the Grove. So celebrities would come to the Grove and things like that. Now, NBC has Access Hollywood. They have E! News. E! News is on E! Um, Fox has Extra. Extra used to be under NBC. Um, CBS has Entertainment Tonight. So CBS has Entertainment Tonight. NBC has Access Hollywood and Extra. um, Wait. CBS has Entertainment Tonight. NBC has Access Hollywood and E! News. Fox has TMZ and Extra. So that leaves you with ABC and the CW. Now, I'm not saying that I think that there should be a new ABC Entertainment News Magazine program to film from the Grow five days a week. And I'm not saying that because Television City is right there and they will have access to the executives, to the studios. But hey, listen, you know, they already do on the red carpet as you know these pop-up spinoffs um 
and not to mention like you have perfect weather to do entertainment news live in front of a um, live audience um but that's just my suggestion though what do i know i'm just i'm just talking Okay, Gigi will be back up in a little bit. I think her connection's kind of going in and out there. Um, hey, everybody, we've been on the highways and byways of the possibilities of what could be of this virtual tour live for one hour, 54 minutes, and 38 seconds here. Glad to have all of you here in the building with me. Okay, let's see. Hey, hey. GG, you there? I hear some static there. Hey, 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 five people in the building. Thank you all so much. I appreciate y'all as always. Yes, GG, go ahead. Can you hear me better? And is there static? Um, I can, can definitely you hear you. Hear me better, and is there static? Yes, I can definitely hear you now for sure. Can you hear okay. me? Hey, Greta Lee, welcome in. Okay, my computer tripping. I can definitely hear you. Okay. So what? So what do you think about that plan? Like I said, I broke down Let's all the entertainment. In the chat. Thank y'all for being here. Y'all. Yes. No, go right ahead, Gigi. I'm sorry. Go right ahead. Okay, so I know you just broke it down, but you know my computer was acting stupid. Right. So if you could just go ahead and just give me like a little quick, just give me a little quick sure. like log line. Just give me. Sure. So, you know, entertainment news, um, all the entertainment news magazines, they each have a home. So Extra um, and TMZ are with Fox. Um, NBC has X, um, has Access Hollywood and E News, and then um, and then CBS has Entertainment Tonight. So it so NBC, CBS, Fox that leaves ABC and the CW. Now Extra used to tape at um, the Grove in LA before they went to Universal Studios Hollywood. With this television city development that's happening abc could create a brand new five day a week one hour entertainment news magazine and tape it from the grove and you have television city right there with access to the executives and the studios open invitation like listen this is a great way to rebrand revamp go ahead and uh there's that's going to open up opportunities definitely for abc hell cbs too if you want if you really wanted to technically right but yeah opening and and extending extending the the studio space i feel like it's definitely going to don't take this wrong way but they're trying to do a tyler perry because you know how much space he has right yes listen they got to do something they have to do something no i agree i absolutely agree without question i definitely agree but yeah your breakdown is, is definitely very accurate very accurate like it's i definitely agree with you because i mean like what i mean it's the cw they're in their rebranding process right now so they can't even put in a bid for an entertainment show 
that that's so, the need to contact. Go ahead and put that in there. Unless I mean, that's what they're I mean, planning on I doing. Mean, listen, I, all, all I all I need is the right check and resources to support me being able to do it. <laughs> That's all I would need. And not to mention, too, here's how convenient it would be, guys. The production offices would be at Television City, which is like right across the street from the Grove. So I would go there, get hair and makeup done. Now, I know what you're thinking. Men don't wear, wear, wear makeup. Actually, on TV, they do because of the lighting. Okay. And there is a way to light black. They absolutely they do. Men absolutely wear makeup on live yes. television. And film on the shows. Correct. Yes, they all wear makeup. You're right. The lighting. Yes. <laughs> like I like I always say. So yeah, I you're keep right. You're right people. there. You have the studio. You have the makeup office. You have wardrobe. Yeah. So you have all that have there. Everything the, right there. Exactly. So you have all the production support there. And then to film the show, all I gotta do is just go across the streets of the grove. <laughs> like, like, like what else do I need to do? <laughs> and guess what? If there's any breaking news, guess what? We could stand outside the well, maybe not stand outside of the executive's office, but we can stand in the lobby of Netflix because we're on site at Television City to be able to give you the news. Yep. That, that, right. That's all you have to do is just walk right over there. Or, and sometimes they have it where there's enough room. They have it where there's enough room where okay you might have makeup right there but right here in the same room because it's big enough you have wardrobe mm -hmm. oh correct they'll utilize Absolutely it correct. like that but yeah just like you said even so no makeup right here go ahead walk across the little bridge you got wardrobe once you go get out of wardrobe you go down the hallway and you got studio And then once, and that's just pre-production, post-production, mm -hmm. you have downstairs, you have, you know, on the other side, however, you have your edit Absolutely. base, you have, you know, your sound production, you have your, you, everything all in close proximity. So you don't have to, you don't have to send anything out. Mm -hmm. Everything's all in house. Absolutely. So, in case y'all do and not that takes know, down what production the role... time because what? Mm -hmm. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was just going to show. No, I'm pulling no, up. Go the ahead. Growth, I was just going to go break down the time of like from movie to you know movie making to actual distribution. Like that shit is a process, but having it where you can have everything in close proximity right there. You have the Grove right there. You can do everything that you need to do. It can cut down production time. But yeah, go ahead. So let me bring up the, uh, the articles here. Because like I tell y'all, I, I keep telling y'all, this is what I do. I am a nerd of this shit. <laughs> Like, I, listen, this, this, this is all I know, okay? I'm just like, you know, if you're a doctor, if you're a lawyer, if you're a preacher, you're a teacher. This is all you know. Um, so here is, so here is the Grove here. So they will shoot right here at the Grove in real time. Cast the baby daddy was at the Grove there. So they were actually filmed live on location at the Grove. Um, I think there was one, um, I think there was one video of, let me see if I can pull up so y'all can see. Jennifer Lopez, Extra, B. 
the Grove. Okay. Here it is here. Oh wait, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay, here it is here. We can just go to YouTube, that's fine, child. All right, here we go. With everything you got going on, Jennifer, how, how, do you, how do you balance like work and family? You know, at the end of the day, the babies are my, like, the light of my life and the most important thing to me. Yeah is my family and they come first and then everything else kind of comes after that, you know? So long as they're happy and healthy, I feel like I'm doing a good job as a person. You know? That's a great campaign right there, oh, yeah. They're beautiful, that's a great, that's yeah. a great, for Gucci, right? Yeah. That's for Gucci. Those are my coconuts. Now they, they just turned three. Yes. This is a tougher parent, you or Mark? We kind of like trade off, like I'm the tough one and sometimes he's the tough one. Okay. Now I love you guys too. <laughs> Can you tell them they can sing yet? Because both you guys sing, and I can imagine. Yeah, I'm singing definitely runs in the family. I think my daughter, you know, kind of has okay. a little bit of a, a little vibrato already when she sings. Okay. <laughs> I know I know that I want more kids. And my little girl's five months yeah. now. Do you know if you want any more yet? Or? You know what? We don't try not to. I'll put it that way. Okay. <laughs> Leave it we in God's hands. We're not trying to, but got we got to try not to. And if it happened, uh, you know, I would be so happy. All right. I got to say that you, you look better than ever right now. Thank you. So, Thank you. Uh, what's your uh, workout routine right now? You know what? Um, I do have to work at it just like any other girl in the world. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. uh, especially after the babies, you know, things kind of changed for me. I was a little bit spoiled. But I love to work out and I was always very athletic, but I didn't have to. And now I kind of have to which kind of sucks, but I, <laughs> I, one second, I feel like it's part of my job, so I got to do it. We saw the Boys and Girls Clubs, kids. Yes! They all came out here from Hollywood. Those and are my I, kids. And I love that we're both fellow members. Yes. And That's as a matter of fact, you're the first female ambassador, which yes. is cool. It was just the Boys Club. <laughs> <laughs> Rock New York, secret. represent, that's right. <laughs> and uh, I remember being there, and, and now I'm... So you guys see how they were able to tape that. Now that's a stage at the Grove. Um, and then they taped at Universal Studios um, Hollywood. And this is where Extra would be here. So you see they would be in front of the fountain, and then they had the Five Tower stage. So this is what a typical day would look like here. So they would have the extra barricades there and then they would have the chairs there. Sometimes they would have couches. That's Tracy Edmonds and Corsa Thompson there. And then of course fans right there. And that's how it would normally look there. So just imagine this right back at the Grove for ABC. Um, you know, five days a week in Television City is right there in front of a live audience. And Extra was really smart because they recognized, okay, entertainment news is a vibe. So since entertainment news is live, let's put the entertainment news in front of a live audience. So. And then here's the... Uh, that here is the um, story here. Extra leaves the Grove and heads to Universal Studios um, right here. So, so yeah. GG, you still there? She must have away from her microphone. 
Oh, um. Oh okay. god. I was on mute for a second and just did not want to unmute, but okay. No, you're good. I was just showcasing to them um, the Grove and how Extra was able to do what they were able to do from the Grove. And then here's the Grove here, you guys. So this is all of their dining here. So you got the AMC um, Grove there. You got haagen You got um, Nordstrom's Bar. You got the Fountain Bar. You got Starbucks. You have, um, I think one of these is like a burger joint, I think. Um, so yeah. So you have that. You have all the shopping. Oh, yeah. I might have to go there. there. Hold on. Yeah, let me go ahead. I'm going to head up towards Long Beach tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, which is right there by LA. So, right. I'll be looking for stuff too. And so that's the Grove right there, y'all. So imagine ABC filming live from the Grove five days a week with all of this. Now, of course, you're probably thinking, well, they could shoot at Downtown Disney at Disneyland. Wouldn't that be more on brand? true but if it's an entertainment news show and television series yeah. right across the way with the production offices and sound stages you want to be close to where the news actually is and if you want to do a satellite location and have a co-host there sure you could do that yeah that's so no true issue. So I got a couple more stories here for you guys here. I saw this story here from the Drew Barrymore show. Mm -hmm. Drew Barrymore show. Um, Drew Barrymore show targeted in hacking ID fraud scam by imposter who posts as a producer and more. This is an exclusive from Variety. One or more individuals have been fraudulently posted as officials from the Drew Barrymore show and attempts to scam talent and other guests involved with the oh, stars good. talk show. Um, Variety can exclusive can report exclusively the ruse, which does not originate from the syndicate series or its producer CBS Media Ventures and Paramount Global, has been flaunting paid opportunity for prospective guests, attempting to arrange social media efforts like Facebook broadcasts. According to three sources, some of the vendors for the show have been solicited for invoices, which included requests for personal banking information. The issue was escalated to legal affairs in the um, information technology department at corporate parent paramount global in recent days the talent booking team of the drew barrymore show began notifying celebrity representatives across the industry about the matter on friday has come to our attention that one or more individuals have fraudulently been holding themselves um out to be connected with the drew barrymore show since soliciting participation in facebook lives and other paid, uh, paid opportunities these solicitations seem to be coming from various mock emails containing some part of drew Drew Barrymore name. The memo going out to publicists and agents read another source knowing that upcoming guests on the talk show may as like it are public information for fans seeking tickets um, which often leads to such um, cons. Um, insiders familiar with the series said scammers have been using Google email accounts to reach out. Now official communications from the Drew Barrymore show are sent to Paramount Global's or sent from Paramount Global Server. One individual with knowledge of the scam said a male posing as a show producer set and held meetings on the show's behalf. Oh my Lord Jesus. Um, it currently is fourth season. Right. Two, more show. We can welcome. Well, yes, scary. exactly. Um, right. Currently in his fourth season of the Drew Barrymore show, recently welcome guests including Maya Rudolph and Kristen Stewart, Barrymore, a Hollywood, Barrymore Hollywood royalty and a star of the Charlie's Angels franchise, is not the only talk show host that turned um, fraud target in recent months. In January, Watch What Happens Live host Andy Cohen appeared on the Today Show to share a harrowing experience of ID fraud at his personal bank. Cohen said imposters pretended to reconcile his lost debit card, winding up Bike, um, biking or bilking a significant amount of money from his accounts while he did not disclose a dollar amount um, Cohen said it was enough that I'm on the Today Show 
and they and and, and child when i try to get in the door i get told no <laughs> what the hell listen let me listen let me tell you that's what i'm saying wait um listen this is why you see so many companies who are hiring for you know um management production management or you know hiring uh, hr like listen we need to vet these people a little more when you have people who are oh come on now you got people like you and i who have to make our own way because it just seems like you know just yep you know i'm not gonna say left behind because I mean, not all opportunities are for us because our opportunities are greater than what has been, you know. Speak on it. And what has been shut out for us. So, how do y'all not check their resume for real? real? Are y'all not really calling references anymore? And like actually checking to see? That's just like check his. Stuff. he was all up in hospitals taking videos you got the other right. guy, guy who was posing to be a lawyer who was really the guy really was a, whose name he used really was a lawyer but he wasn't a lawyer you know what i'm saying like you got are y'all not checking people's references what is going on i remember exactly. back in the day where you had to have at least four references and they were Correct. calling everybody and that was just to get rid of center furniture that part you're absolutely like, right you're absolutely right and it's crazy too because it's just like ooh. if some now if somebody want to utilize this publicly known information and say hey i would like to be a producer for cbs media ventures for one of your syndicated talk shows or work at paramount period well i'm sorry you gotta go through online i'm sorry did you not just have the drew barrymore show targeted in a hacking identity um, or ID fraud scam by imposter post as a producer. I don't want to hear nothing. I want an opportunity. What can you say to that person? You could still try to turn them down, but come on now. Child, and people are trying to legitimately get in the door and work hard. And then this happens. Listen, okay, child. Listen, Braylon, you know they use an AI for everything, okay? everything don't make no damn sense. you're telling me that y'all can't check for plagiarism like fact check this shit like come on now how are y'all allowing this to happen <laughs> Absolutely. now people who matter. actually have the credentials and have the backing and have the the skill set y'all want to say no to Yep, but y'all are allowing other people to defraud y'all who don't even have it. Exactly, like requesting for Facebook Lives and stuff for you to get social capital. I mean, okay. now I'm not saying that's that bad. That's not a bad strategy, but you do that once you're on the inside with some actual social capital. You say, hey, you know what? Listen, the Drew Barrymore show is a very popular show. Can I do Drew? Can I do the Drew Barrymore after show live on Facebook as a social media producer? Mm, Okay. Okay, child. Yeah. Uh, uh, Listen. Uh, Listen, my. uh, um, huh? I want to say something so bad, but it's like no, I got it. I'm trying to say as yeah, just move on because I I want to say something so bad. I know. I know. My mouth is like no. No, I feel you. I absolutely feel you. And this adds on um, top of it, y'all. Um, Faith Stores, so Bravo. No, it is. It absolutely is. Um, Vaif Stowers sues Bravo, NBC Universal over mistreatment over Vanderpump rules signed vicious assaults and racial harass or race racist harassment rather. 
Variety.com as well. Faith Stokes, a former Vanderpump Rules cast member, accused NBC Universal on Friday of racist harassment and retaliation, becoming the latest Bravo star to sue over her mis- over her treatment on a popular reality show. Stokes appeared on seasons four and five of the series, which aired from 2015 to 2017. Um, in her lawsuit, she alleges that castmate Lala Kent brand, brandished a knife during an argument in season four and held it to her neck and threatened to, excuse my French, this is in the article, cut a bitch. Stowers alleged that the show's executive producer discouraged her from reporting the knife incident to police. She also alleges that Lisa Vanderpump, the show stars, war- star warranted that she would be terminated if she did not find a way to get along with Kent. The lawsuit comes as Stowers is about to launch a podcast with, in which she reveal uh, more um, about her experiences on the show. She's represented by Brian Freeman and Mark Garagos, the attorneys who have worked with former Real Housewives star Bethany Frankel to bring a reality reckoning. The attorneys also represent Bravo stars Brandy Glanville and Rachel Levis, who have each levied allegations against allegations of mistreatment against the network in the in the latest lawsuit stowers alleged that she was subjected to racial slurs it was mocked for her nappy hair while appearing on the show she also alleges that she was maligned by fellow cast members stacy schroeder and Kristen dolt who allegedly accused her of going a wall from the military and of being a serial criminal who has who has been drugging and robbing men throughout los angeles good damn in June 2020, during the anti-racism uprisings after the murder of George Floyd, Stores talked about this experience during an Instagram Live, and Dort and Shorter were fired from Vander Pump Rules shortly afterward. In the lawsuit, Stores called these fires an astonishingly cynical act of performative allyship. Last month, a new spinoff of Vander Pump Rules called The Valley premiered on Bravo starring Dort. According to the suit, she was paid $5,000 for her participation in season four. After that, she was demoted to an unpaid volunteer, she alleges. The lawsuit claims that the demotion was retaliation for her speaking up about her mistreatment. In February 2018, she alleges that NBC warned her not to go to public with her claims as it would violate her contract. Well, NBC University, you just opened up for people to not to speak um, now and they don't have those NDAs anymore. So okay, NBC and Evolution clearly believe that the, that workplace safety rules, employment laws, and basic decency do not apply to those reality TV. The attorney said in a statement: "Vicious assault, assaults, racial harassment, and the impugning service of vet, of, um, of veterans are apparently acceptable to NBC." and evolution for the sake of rings. Faith did not know what kind of cesspool she found herself in report this unlawful behavior to her superiors in response. She was demoted to volunteer and stripped of her already meager conversation. NBC Universal did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Child. Oh, Lord. Do you really think they was going to say something? What do you think they was going to say? No, it never happened. But wait a second. We've seen different clips of, of what she was talking about on the show. And, you know, some behind the scene things we might not have seen. And, of course, we didn't see, like, what all the fights were about. But, um, yeah, they wasn't going to say nothing. Mm. That girl's telling the truth, but yeah, and, and it's not even a but. But listen, when you put yourself in certain predicaments, because she was one of them who felt like she was like them, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Told her ass quick, fast. Uh, no, you still you. Correct. We're us, and you're you. Yep. Absolutely. You know, I'm trying to be trying to be subtle with what I'm saying. But y'all All right. no, I get you. Get it. Y'all get what I'm saying. Yeah. No, absolutely we do. Absolutely we do. Uh and and some of the stuff that happened was needed to to keep the show lively because you know drama sales. 
the arguing, the fuss, and the drink throwing, the, you know what I'm saying, instigated fights and all that stuff, all of that sales. Right. But yeah, I I believe that, you know, I believe, I believe what she said, but it's also like, girl, they let you know who you was because you thought she was one of them. Correct. Absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. And also for, too, hopefully, yeah, you know, hopefully everything works out. Hopefully they sure. do better. And, Bravo, by, and by the way, Bravo, Bravo is filled with racism. Yeah, they've been they. Yeah, and they have been having a whole bunch of lawsuits coming their way um, recently. And um, if you guys did not see the breakdown of um the variety andy cohen article it is on this channel um just go to you guys scroll because i do a lot of lives okay you guys scroll but it is there um for sure and this breaking news happened early this morning as we were live on tour this morning um and i did not get to because i just got off the air but um Bronny james son of laker star la J- Lakers star LeBron James to declare for NBA draft. Yes, it is true. Bronny James, the elder son of Los Angeles Lakers superstar LeBron James, declared for the 2024 NBA draft on Friday in a social media post. The former, um, the former Southern California guard um, said he will also enter the NCAA transfer portal to remain um, eligibility if he decides to return to college. James will work out and meet with NBA teams to determine if he wants to turn professional. He has until June 16th to withdraw his name for consideration. Um, I've had a year with some ups and downs, but all with added growth for me to be a man, student, and athlete. He said, I made the decision to enter into the NBA draft while maintaining my college eligibility. We'll also be entering the NCAA transfer portal. Thank you to USC for an amazing freshman year. As I am, as, as always thankful for my family, friends, doctors, af- athletic trainers, and fans for their support. The six four, um, the six foot four guard averaged four point eight points, two point eight rebounds, and two point one assists over nineteen point four minutes per game while shooting a thirty six point six percent from the field as a freshman. James overcame adversity early in his college college career, suffering um, a cardiac arrest. I think we all remember that while practicing last July. A James trans spokesperson told members of the media at the time it was likely caused by a congenital heart defect. The 18-year-old made his debut in an overtime loss to Long Beach State on December 10th. And there are the two Kangs right there. Yes, indeed. Um, James entered USC as a potential NBA lottery pick, but his stock has dropped after lack of production during a short and freshman season. Teams could consider selecting James, however, also in hopes to learn his father. Um, LeBron James is considered one of the greatest basketball players of all time. The Lakers forward is a four-time NBA champion, four-time um, NBA Finals MVP, four-time NBA MVP, and 20-time NBA All-Star. He has publicly expressed um, interest um, in playing with his son before retirement. I got to be on the floor with Bronny. LeBron told ESPN, LeBron told ESPN in 2023, either in the same year for or match against him. I asked him what his aspirations are. He says he wants to play in the NBA. So if he wants to do, he's got to put the work. I'm here already. So just waiting on him. And then right there, as you can see, third victim of Maryland Bridge collapse recovered and New Jersey earthquake calls to um, calls to H and potentially untapped, unmapped rather, fault lines. So a lot going on per usual um in the world today so by the way, y'all ready to love is on right now, by the way. Um, it's about 30 minutes, 
almost 30 minutes into um, the uh, part one of the Raider Love for You. And of course, myself, Queen TV GG Nan, Bagua Solana, and Q will be um, recapping it tomorrow for you all. And trust me, we do not rehearse what we're going to say. We all watch the episode, we take our mental notes, sometimes we take physical notes, and then we come together. And um, I'm hoping that we get the game back together for this reunion because, child, we're going to need each other for this. <laughs> we're going to need each other. Uh, for damn sure and then for those of you who are wondering where um what where the next season is going to be if you're wondering where the next season is going to be um right here is lighthearted entertainment which is in partnership with will packer uh productions it will be in philadelphia so if you are in philly 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 um, and you are a single professional between the ages of 30 and 50 who are who is still searching for that special someone. All your friends are shot that you haven't found the one because you're such a catch. The hit show from mega producer Will Packer wants to help you find love. You must live within an hour of Philadelphia to be considered. So here is the uh, casting call, your name, what city you live in, state, date of birth, age, height, um, all that required. Social media handles, one per line, male, female, Email, phone number, profession. Tell us about yourself. I'll share about the show. Three pictures. I would like to be known for future cast opportunities. I agree to the terms and service. So, season 10 will be in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. So, there you go. I was about to say, if they are casting now, then Ray Love should be filming this summer, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Okay, no, all good. All good. All good indeed. I think Sharnita's World should be coming on tonight at 9 o'clock. Now, I don't really know if it's going to come on or not, because, uh, you know, the episodes haven't really been coming on like they should. Um, but y'all know I'm committed when I do, you know, my shows and stuff like that. So, but yep. So, so we're going to take a little commercial breaky and uh, we'll be back. We'll be right back with more virtual tour live right after this. Roll it. This is for all you multi-talented, multitasking, multi-everything people out there. Take it away. Yourself. <laughs> no applause. <laughs> You're all fired. <laughs> I got a question for you. What does this city know about luxury? What does a town that's been to hell and back know about the finer things in life? Well, I'll tell you, more than most. You see, it's the hottest fires that make the hardest steel. Add hard work and conviction and the know-how that runs generations deep in every last one of us. That's who we are. That's our story. Now, it's probably not the one you've been reading in papers. The one being written by folks who've never even been here and don't know what we're capable of. Because when it comes to luxury, it's as much about where it's from as who it's for. Now, we're from America, but this isn't New York City or the Windy City. We're Sin City, and we're certainly no one's Emerald City. This is the motor.
Motor City. And this is what we do. For years, people have been singing all about my chicken. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Nobody has a love affair with chicken like you do with my slow marinated hand breaded Popeyes bonafide chicken. And right now it's Love That Chicken Month at Popeyes with two big pieces and a biscuit for just $2.99. So what are you waiting for? Come get some of my world famous chicken and raise your mighty voices. Love That Chicken from Popeyes. New Orleans don't make a lick of sense to most people. A big city built below sea level that throws logic out the window and beads to strangers. And our chicken is no different. A fast food restaurant selling fried chicken that takes 12 hours to marinate? That makes no sense. But it does make delicious. The best recipe for big flavor ain't about logic. Because you know magic when you see it or when you taste it. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeyes. I finally did it. Popeye's new chicken sandwich. Mm. I've been trying to make the perfect chicken sandwich forever. Um, how does that make you feel? You know me. It had to be just right. Mm -hmm. Finding a bun as good as my chicken was not easy. Mm. I mean, I did it, obviously. I think we've made a lot of progress here. I feel great. Good talk. Mmm. I'm proud of you. My new chicken sandwich is buttermilk battered and served on toasted brioche. Try it in spicy or classic. Love that chicken Welcome to Copeland's. Copeland's is not just some fancy place for your big night out. In fact, there's no occasion too big. Or if you like, too small. Copeland's. There's always something good. And I'm loving y'all right back. Welcome in to Brantley's Virtual Tour Live. We've been on the highways and byways of the possibilities of what could be of this edition of Virtual Tour Live for two hours, 37 minutes and 15 seconds here. Been talking a lot today. We talked about Michael Jackson. Um, there are some um, litigants that want um, to access Michael's file. That includes some private pictures um, that the state does not want distributed or, or to be seen for that matter. A $30 million um, bank heist or um, money um, facility heist happened. Then Tyler Perry has a new internship pro program called the Tyler Perry Dreamers um, Internship Program. So that is very big. You have from April 5th to May 11th. Um, to get in your application for the chance to be a part of Tyler Perry Studios history. And here is the link here. Just go to dreamers.com slash Tyler Perry Studios.com and then you click the apply button. Make sure you have all make sure you have everything um, that those um, requirements are asking you for. Okay, and then we talked about Beyonce and Blackbird, um, the historical significance that that song was read during the Civil Rights Movement and was inspired by the Little Rock Nine, which is from my home state of Little Rock, Arkansas. Nine students who went to school and set and desegregated um, education for the future. They talked about the 99 cent stores closing um, in California, Texas, California, Texas, Nevada. Um, let me go back to it. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, California, Texas, Arizona, and California, Texas, Arizona, and Nevada. Yes. So 371 stores are closing. Um, 
the um, sale will start this Friday, I think, which is today. So we talked about that as well. Uh, we talked about Television City and the updates that Television City may be getting um, to keep production in Los Angeles, California. Eh? We talked about Christian Combs, BD's son, um, being a part of a sexual assault lawsuit. We talked about a producer from the Drew Barrymore show who really was a producer. Um, yes, you heard me correctly. Um, they were. So sad. They were targeted in a hacking ID fraud scam, and then um, Faith Stower sues Bravo, um, MT Universal, over mistreatment on Vanderpump Rules, um, racial um, harassment, and uh, vicious assaults. And then we talked about Bronny James. Bronny James is declaring himself for the NBA draft while content, while keeping his college eligibility through the NCAA transfer portal and then there's a third um victim of the um bridge of the maryland bridge um um there they have recovered and then new jersey earthquake calls attention to ancient um faulty um ancient potentially unmapped fault lines so there is a lot going on in the world today so and of course, talking about ready to love that the new season will be in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So, nephew Tommy will be on the East Coast. He will not be down south for next season. So, understood. Trying to stay your best, trying to do your best to stay awake there. Jam packed show tonight. Really, really jam packed show tonight. I um, I quite enjoyed it, and um, I love each and every single one of y'all. You know, this is what we do. We cover. A multitude of things. Well, my voice is sounding great. Um, but yeah, we cover a multitude of things and we try to give soul to everything that we do. I will have to go in and edit one little tiny thing in this. But besides that, this was a absolutely fantastic show. Um, of course, there is one more show for you all that I have. Um, and that is coming up. Um, right at 10 p.m. That is Sharnita's World, um, episode five or episode six. We don't know quite for sure. And here it is here live in 78 minutes at 10 p.m. Eastern. So three shows for you in one day, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I do. Um, so, yeah. Hey, lady, be welcome in. I'm glad you're still here. Glad you're still here. Just um, promoting what is to come, my good friend. Um, hopefully, I did the justice. Hopefully, I did justice to the uh, Michael Jackson topic. Lady B um, DMs me on IG um, with that topic. And I'm like, all right, we're going to definitely do it on the primetime edition. Because like I said before, there are some topics where it's good for the morning. And there's some topics that are good for the um, primetime evening edition. So I try my very best to make sure that um, no two shows are the same. <laughs> so we do regular, regular, schmegular virtual tour lives. We do reviews on shows over here. We do deep dives. I love it when we get the deep dive. We deep dived into um, Universal Epic Universe. We got to deep dive into that. That was a lot of fun. Um, got to deep dive into the uh, Bruno Mars um, owning, um, owing rather, $50 million to MGM Resorts. And then the latest deep dive that we did was the Omni Hotels and Resorts um, because they were the victim of a cyber attack. So a lot um, that we do over here, try to give information to help people rise up. Like I said, the Tyler Perry um, internship program, please, please, if you got anybody, if any young person that you know, yeah, from April 5th today to May 5th um, at 11.59 p.m. to get in is a paid internship and it's 18 bucks an hour. Okay? So, you're going to get a little, you're gonna get, you, you ain't going to get a Tyler Perry bag, but 18 bucks an hour for an internship, that is actually really, um, really, really good. So, But 
Yes, indeed. How's the game going over there, uh, Lady B? Hopefully it is going well. This really was a jam-packed show, y'all. It really, really was. I, I mean, like I said, it never ceases to amaze me, the topics that come through. Um, because, like I said, I never really know um, what the show will be until I actually do it. So, people in the building thank you all so much i appreciate y'all more than you know mm, my lord let me see if i can get my tv on real quick y'all give me one moment we're still live on tour like comment share and subscribe glad to have y'all here Oh, hubby's about to lose his voice yelling because his team is losing. Oh, yeah, you just got just 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 be supportive. Just be support. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is rough. That is rough. And there are women that are also into big sports too. Okay, that they that they will also get that passion as well. Hang on one second, y'all. Hey, hey, still here, y'all. Still here. Just had to find my Roku remote. My Roku remote. Yes, got my Roku remote, and um, yeah, we're still in here. So I guess we'll take it up all the way to nine o'clock, and um, then close out the show. Um, well, Sharnita's World is supposed to be coming on, right? So Sharnita's World is the um, reality show docu series um, coming on um, Nubian TV. Which, by the way, in case y'all do not know what Nubian TV is. Here is a um, sneak peek of what Nubian is all about. Roll it! Now that you've reached the stage in your life where quality television is important, Nubian TV is a black network that speaks to your lifestyle. Nubian TV is the world's first digital network devoted to the upscale and political lifestyles of black people. Nubian TV's programming includes politics, travel, fashion, food, automotive, arts and culture, civil rights, music, and more. Watch now on Amazon Fire TV, Roku, or watch globally at NubianTV.net. Nubian TV, it's what you want to watch. Now that you've reached... So, that is Nubian TV. Um, the show should be coming up. Right at nine eight central, but um, but yeah, we'll see if it comes on because um, it's been it's been interesting with um with Sharnita's world um, the episodes they have. And I say this very lovingly, like I would be watching it 
and sometimes they'll come. It's so like there was like one episode where I was literally live at ten o'clock, and the episode appeared live as I was watching it. Right, so. <sighs> No, seriously, like, and I, I'm saying this with a lot of love because I want Nubian TV to win. I keep pitching MellowCon live on Nubian TV so that way they can, so that way, for example, you can see 1950 Lounge live. You can see Yacht, um, their Yacht Living show live, but they actually bring yachts. You can do um, your real estate live with a, with a, you know, virtual, I know virtual house tour, but you know what I mean, you know, going over, um, going over um you know how to find a home and it's a new network absolutely it is i mean you can have horse rides from um horse talk you got the hip-hop tour there's a lot of things that they could do um at mellowcon to showcase some of these shows in front of a live audience um you know what i mean i have been pushing that i pushed that on sassy's um i pushed that on sassy's uh, platform i pushed it on t-talks platform um and I do think it would be, um, I think it would be amazing. And yeah, they're going to get together. I really do believe that because they do, they do have a soul for this thing. Um, and I do believe that Nubian will definitely be one of the biggest networks on the planet. Um, it's just figuring out the soul of the network. You know what I mean? So. And like I said, I'm willing to um, I'm willing to invest. I actually was going to call them today. Um, I hope there's no conflict between Melocon and my family and vacation. Understood, understood. Yeah, because there because there has not been any dates announced yet for Melocon. Um, I genuinely believe this. I don't know why. Now, T talk with your girl said that she would announce it on Instagram, and I do believe that, right? But I also do believe. That there could be a possibility that she might announce it during the mellow con the mellow meters um, content creator series, right? I mean, that's the way I would do it: announce it during the content creator series, and guess what? Those ten content creators that get flown down to mellow con, and it creates oh my god! Well, the these ten content creators are going to be at mellow con. Maybe I should go and meet them. So you know, it it, it all coincides with each other. At least that's my thinking on it. I could be completely wrong, but, you know, and I've come to realize, too, you know, you can never push um, a blessing onto someone until they want, until they want that blessing, right? So, um, as much as I want to do Melocon Live, and I know it would be absolutely lit, um, that's going to be up to them to want that. You know what? You know what I mean? Right, because I want to come meet you guys and all the Melamitas. Absolutely, all the Melamitas, for sure. And, you know, not to mention, too, um, there's so many different things that MellowCon can do. Like I said, exclusive collection from Melody and J-Bone that's only sold at MellowCon. Uh, maybe she might have some, you know, exclusive scents of scrubs that only are available at MellowCon. Um, there could be a Melamitas marketplace for entrepreneurs. Um, a Melocon um, karaoke contest. It's when she talks and she's Tayonce. Um, love you, Tay, so, so much. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Um, I'm trying to think what else. You know, of course, um, of course, you know, there could be some Avenue, you know, beauty sessions as well. So there's a lot of things they can do at Melocon. And I think to have that broadcast live, just like the Oscars, just like the Grammys, just like the Tonys. Um, just like um, Comic Con was on G4 Network and the Consumer Electronics Show and E3 when it was live on G4, um, I think it would be a really good idea. No, I'm serious. I'm giving real ideas here. Okay, I'm giving real ideas here. Um, and I and I, tr and I truly think that you know Melocon Live would actually enhance um, Nubian TV, and not to mention it will start their live division. Um, really, really well. You know what I mean? So, not to mention there can be meeting greets uh, with some of these celebrities. So, you know, that's just that's just my thinking about Melocon. I could be completely wrong in my whole assessment. I could.
So we're going to go all the way up to um, 9 o'clock here and see what ends up happening. Um, so, yeah. Absolutely. Not to mention, too, imagine having, um, for example, if you get a VIP ticket to MellowCon, you get exclusive views of the MellowCon Melometers VIP Lounge, where you can, you know, mingle with celebrities and have, you know, different snacks and hors d'oeuvres and all that type of stuff. Like, MellowCon can be done. Um, I think they just have to figure out how they want to do it. You know what I mean? So... And no, y'all, I am not on the committee, okay? So don't, 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 don't at me, okay? I don't know if any of what I'm saying is actually happening. I'm just giving um, speculative projections. <laughs> that is really all I'm doing. I'm giving speculative projections of what could happen at MellowCon. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, no, hopefully what I'm saying is making sense, guys. Um, Cause like I said, I just want people to win. I do. And, um, I never really get upset about my um, about what I do because I feel like if you're a creative, if you really love having fun with your um, with your diversity, and you really are a genuine um, person that cares, you will never run out of creativity. So when I give these me ideas away, um, <laughs> no, you did. I'm barely hanging out. <laughs> Um, listen, listen, okay, listen, I, I, I am only human, I am only human, but no, I, I truly love what I do, like, like I said, this channel and the growth of it, um, it is beyond, is beyond humbling, you know, that what we do over here, and I say we because you are just as much a part of this channel as me, um, to be able to put out you know, these different virtual tours um, that we go on live together. Good Lord, it's live. Um, and to be able to be on the highways and byways of the possibilities of what could be and really um, be open um, to exploring and discovering and being curious and, um, and having a good time doing it. That's fun. That's literally fun to me. Um, I feel like we need more of that energy in the world. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, it was funny because I was talking with him. Um, I was talking with Gigi. We were joking about if I did MelCon live on Nubian TV. And, you know, she pretended that she was at MelCon. She and she asked, like, so how so how is your um so how's your time at MelCon? Well, my existing schedule is not existent. <laughs> it's not existent rather because like covering MelCon live uh, this morning from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Then taking a break from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. because then it would be Braylon Lee's virtual tour live from 6 to 8 p.m. in front of a live audience on Nubian TV live from Melicon. Then I have an hour break because then from 9 to 2 a.m. will be Melicon live prime time. So yeah, I will be mentally exhausted, <laughs> but I will have an extremely good time though. Extremely good time. Um, yeah, that'll be a lot of running around. <laughs> a lot of running around. South, South Carolina just won. Congratulations to South Carolina. Awesome sauce. Congratulations to y'all, South Carolina. Yes, indeed, for sure. That is great. I have to say, college sports is where it's at. I know everybody loves the NFL and NBA, but it's something special 
about college where you get to see people that you know and love um give it their all you know it's nothing like a saturday night uh with football or nothing like um basketball as well you go into the uh, arena and you see all the, you see the the black paint on their face and you know the colors and you know the um cheers you know seeing alumni like it really is something unique to college sports that you cannot get anywhere else um other than um college college um sports so. And I am proud of Bronny that he's recognized that, hey, I'm going to the draft, but I'm still going to maintain my college eligibility just in case I just want to stay here just a little bit longer. You know what I mean? Because sometimes having the degree in your back pocket is, is just as good just in case something does happen because life is unpredictable. So it's nine o'clock right now, and the auto showcase is on. Um, it's not Sharnita's world right now. Um, let me message Nubia. That's what's up. And I said, I said nothing but love, peace, and blessings to him. I think. Any dream that you have, if you put in the work, if you put in the time and you um, give it your all, anything is possible. In other words, the fairy godmother Whitney Houston, impossible. Things are happening every day. I know I'm not Whitney Houston. Don't at me, okay? Let me let me message you. Um, let Hey, hey, I'm watching Nubian right now. Will the episode be on demand for next week, I'm assuming? Um, Because I think I'm on episode five. I put down episode five or six on my after show review thumbnail on YouTube. So I just sent a DM to um, Nubian TV. If you see my pick of my grandkids, um, if you see my pick, Brian Love, me and my grandkids, he was the tallest boy. He was only 14. Oh, my. I don't know what is going on with kids these days, but they are growing up more fast than I remember. You know what I mean? So, my Lord Jesus. By the way, side note, I'm on Instagram right now. Kim Fields could get it. Okay, Kim Fields can absolutely get break with me. Absolutely get with me. I'm just saying. Anyway, I need to stop. Oh, Lord. No, I'm just looking on... Um, Oh, wait a minute. What the heck? that make me B O L? What, what do you mean by B O L? Um, yeah, I want to talk to y'all about this. Now, I just saw this on Instagram. 
Now, child, I, I th this to me is just doing too damn much. Okay, I'm I'm gonna be real. Listen, I don't mind an age gap. Damn it, the age gap guy makes sense. I okay. I'm gonna try to do this with some love, some grace, and some space. Try, try to do it with some love, grace, and space. With what I just saw on Instagram. By the way, shout out to the legendary Carlton Speaks for the story. Um, ooh, child. There it is. Aoki Lee Simmons, 21 years old, kisses Serafina co founder Vito Asanov, 65 years old. A romantic trip to St. Bart's. You know, and I saved this story so we can get to it, but I'm just like, you know, um, can we also talk about how his wife left him for her identical twin sister husband? Just while her mama should address this, this is BS. She got from her mama, get the bad girl. Note that she's 21, her mom was under age 17. That still doesn't mean that it should happen. Why Dre gets so much heat? Child. Please ask that question a million times because if it was a man, it's okay. But if it's a woman, he'd be alive. Um, because it's gross to date someone your child's age. Agreed. And not to mention, too, like, the brother was 22 years old. Like, at 22 years old, nobody's ready to be a father to me. That's just me. But, yeah, I, I'm sorry. That's just no. 40-something age gap is wicked. Um, I'm team as long as they're both 21 up. She's old enough and smart enough to make our own decisions. We all have that one life. Um, we all have one life. Let people live how they choose. We got to stop playing mom and daddy for decision for decisions grown folks make nothing's being forced that is true i i mean 21 to 65 okay child do you do you do you I, yeah child, i i don't know i don't know wait a minute Wait a minute, what in the nursing home? I cannot. What in the nursing home is she do You know what? I Nikki News, you, you know what? Hang on, let, let me see if I can do something for you. Just for you, give me one moment. Give me one moment. Because you know what? I, I agree with you. And I, I think personally that that deserves something special. I, I really do. Let me let me see. Because you know I know a lot of people, Nikki News. You know I know a lot of people. Nikki. Let me see what I can do. Cuz They are clapping for you, Nikki News. They are clapping for you, my friend. They are clapping for you, yes. Because what in the actual hell? Um, I, no, no, you're absolutely fine. Hey, five people, welcome in. Glad to have you here. Um, you, heard, you heard me ask him what's B-O-L. Lord, I'm old. Listen. I'm old school. You don't remember BOL. What is BOL? Like I'm sick. Like we're having a moment here. Is this nasty? This just nasty. Is this man a billionaire or something? I mean, let me let me look it up. For the love of money, yes. Ew, I know. Yes, I know. Let me let me look this up, child. Because I never heard of this brother before. Um, so he's a restaurant tour. So he owns restaurants. Um, Vito Asof.
this came out through uh, wait a minute okay um here's the article um <laughs> from people.com lord jesus aoki lee simmons dating restaurateur vito asaf enjoying each other's company exclusive source the 21 year old model model and harvard graduate is spending time with seraphina restaurant group founder 65 after meeting in saint Martin's. a source confirmed to people Aoki and Ventura are spending time together enjoying each other's company. A source close to Aoki tells people adding the couple met while vacation in St. Martha, favorite um, Simmons family travel destination. Aoki, the youngest star of model and mobile Kamora Lee Simmons, 48, and entrepreneur Russell Simmons, 66, is following in her mother's footsteps in the fashion industry. <sighs> okay. I'm not gonna lie, she's a beautiful woman. I'm not gonna sit here in front. But 21 though. Okay. All right. They are dating. Bust out laughing. Thank you so much. Bust out laughing. Thank you so much. Child, I guess. I guess. I, 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 I My mind is so lost right now. You have no mental idea right now. And there was one topic I wanted to add to the show, but unfortunately, the show was already full. But since we're in the chill part of the show, right? Since we're in the chill part of the show, um, I think that this story is quite important. Let me just get it up. saw this one story and um, yeah I'll do I'll do that story after this one Trying to find it, y'all, because child, it nearly took me out. It nearly took me out. Hang on. Okay, here it is, y'all. Um, so y'all remember how we talked about the nursing homes, right? Um, and how and how there's um, chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis, right? Well, well, and well, there it is, go. Yeah, Courtney Russ, Metro Atlanta saw more than 1,500 new cases of HIV reported in 2021. That's more than twice the national average. Health officials pointed to stigmas around the virus and access to care as ongoing issues contributing to those high numbers. The CDC's most recent data on new cases of HIV paints a startling picture of an ongoing health crisis in the Southeast. We've seen that HIV is growing in the South and Atlanta. Yeah, Courtney Russ, Metro Atlanta saw more than 1,500 new cases. You heard that, right? Memphis and Miami worms also sees that ranked high. Reports state new cases account for more than half of the 2,371 reported in Georgia in 2021, 
Jeff Cheek, Fulton County Director of HIV Elimination, said, we've seen that HIV is growing in the South. Atlanta has some of the highest numbers in the South. Who number one? Number two, though, where is number one? That will be important info to know. According to the CDC website, Texas is number one. Florida is number two. Georgia, number three. New York is number four. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, I'm a lot going on there. Um, by the way, in case y'all um, did not know this as well, um, the King family um, reflects on the 56th anniversary of MLK Jr.'s um, assassination. Um, MLK, so basically, um, ML, Martin Luther King Jr. the third and his wife, Andrea Waters King, and their daughter, Yolanda Renice King, made a rare visit to the um, Memphis, Tennessee, to the Lane Road. Lorraine Motel, now the National Civil Rights Museum, and MLK's only surviving daughter, Bernice King, participated in a reef lane ceremony in Atlanta, Georgia. At the King's ceremony, both siblings spoke out about the father's impact, so did the Reverend Al Sharpton. Um, while speaking out MLK's legacy, he called out 45 and argued the president's actions have gutted what civil rights leaders have fought for. So, 56 years since that legend um, has not been around. Um, Lady B, he looks like my big toe, in my pig. I cannot with y'all. Not your big toe. Not your big toe, though. Oh my lord, Jesus! Not your big toe. Damn shame. Damn, 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 damn shame. Lord Jesus. So, y'all, right now is still showcasing the auto showcase right now, y'all. So, it looks like it's not coming on. I, child, I... Hey, listen, I'm trying my best to support New Bean TV. I really am. Really, like, no judgment at all. Like, really, really am trying to support. You know what I mean? So like I said, I don't know if this is episode four. And I, well, sorry, I don't know if this is episode five or episode um, six. But yeah, we're just chilling out, everybody. Um, we've been on the highways and byways of this virtual tour live for three hours, 17 minutes, and 19 seconds. Um, right now, it's supposed to be Sharnita's world on right now. But um, it is a loop of commercials. Um, wait, that's all she asked. That's who I'll ask. I'm confused. <sighs> sorry, sorry. So, listen. Try to stay up for y'all to watch Sharnita's world so we can have something to talk about. <laughs> Been on the highways and byways for three hours, 17 minutes, 55 seconds. I'm human. I'm human. I'm human. Oh. Is that is that your sign on to watch the show? No, because the show's not even on right now. Like right now, it is a commercial um, for a uh, public service announcement about um, about um, I guess looks like. Let me see. Oh, for natural disasters, it was just a P um, public service announcement about natural disasters. Um, now it's the Hennessy Paradise commercial. So, is that my son? Is that your son on to watch the show or to move on from watching the show? I'm confused.
And it's like I want to message Melody, but I feel like she I feel like she knows that this has been happening, maybe. I don't know, but like I am trying to support it. I really am. You know what I mean? So, but I guess. Like I said, what will probably end up happening is, you know, at 10 o'clock, hey, we'll be back on here. And we'll just be chilling, so. This is what it is, child. So I can do this. But, yeah. Yes, indeed. Let me thank everybody for being here. Lady B, thank you. Love you. Nikki Muse, love you. Thank you. Um, let's see who else in here. Of course, the Queen's T with GG9. Thank you for being here. Revelation 2023, thank you for being here as well. Yolanda Cameron, thank you. Greta Lee, thank you. Um, Yeah, I think that's everybody. So should we go ahead and end the show? Because we're just going to be back here like in like literally 30 minutes. <laughs> like at this point. Like, I mean, listen, I, I'm i sorry, y'all. Like, I'm trying to stay up to watch our news world. I have been, I think I've been, I think I've been on every time that it's been on for the most part at 10 o'clock. You know what I mean? I try to watch it. Um right at nine take my notes and then come on um well i'm a fan go to that live you have been okay then so i guess that's my i guess that's my time to end the show then all right let me get this daily mobile up for y'all and then i'll be back on here child in like literally 30 minutes just so uh, lord jesus i'm trying to do what i can for y'all and for newbie and tv by the way, when Mel kind of happens, can we get a Nubian TV television television pitch showcase so people can pitch TV shows to Nubian? Please and thank you. I'm just saying. And that's not even for virtual tour live. I'm just saying, like, they need more content. I think a pitch showcase would be amazing. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. What is a good idea if it remains an idea? Try, experiment, um, alliterate, fail, try again, change the world. Simon Sinek. It's time for the Daily Mobile for Friday, April 5th, 2024. Freedom to live richly. Give yourself freedom from worries of what others might think or say about you. Offer yourself freedom from the limitations your doubts have imposed upon you. Choose to escape from the misguided assumption that your that focused effort is something to be avoided. Discard a few of the comfortable yet negative habits that waste so much precious time. There are plenty of great things you can do right here and now. Allow yourself freedom to experience the joy of creating new goodness as you live each moment. Consider all the positive possibilities open to you today. Free yourself to explore and fulfill the best of them. Let go of let let go of the need to be troubled by troubles. Accept what is. Then allow and encourage yourself to make the very best of it. Now is when you can free yourself from whatever may have held you back before. Here is your day to live richly with all the spirit and energy you can muster. Ralph Morrison. I appreciate this because I believe there, I believe in being free in my freedom. Y'all have heard me say that uh, before. Um, and I really do believe being free in my freedom, being free in my freedom to date, being free in my freedom to get to my finances, being free in my freedom to live out my dreams, being free in my freedom to love my family, my friends, you guys. So first thing I would say in order to in order to have the freedom to live richly, you have to have the mindset to be free in your freedom. Number two, consider all the positive possibilities open to you today. A lot of times we focus on the negative because that's the biggest thing that grabs our attention but what draws in our purpose is possibilities purpose equals possibilities the negative equals problems positive possibilities negative problems okay and finally let go of the need to be troubled by troubles because you cannot change what has happened 
all the past in the words of dr phil the past is over the future hasn't happened yet all you have is right now so with that being said that's what i have to say on this daily motivator i thank each and every one of you for staying here for a little bit longer um, i will literally see y'all like literally at 10 o'clock just to chill out once again because charnia's world's not on um but hey listen you cannot say that don't come through and try support so with that being said it's time for the best outro on youtube know what you do and do what you know never say you want more special because you are always one of blessing and trust you may not be where you want to be but by the end of it you'll be where you need to be do what you were chosen to do wise one thing call yourself something be chosen one love much love all love i for time with you you for time with me hopefully by spending time together we'll rise up to be great together I always remember where you ray your television youtube live your best life or Child, you're just trying to give an opportunity to college students to work for Tyler Perry Studios, at least for the summer. Make sure the replay is not just for if you're watching, not just for if you listen to it, but for you want to experience it again. I love you. I value you. I embrace you all. Always remember or receive love. You got to give it or receive love. You got to give it or receive love. You got to give it wherever obstacles you ever come, wherever successes you have achieved. I'm extremely proud of you, but no one else is proud of you. Be proud of your damn self on this particular day. And finally, y'all, listen, there will be a new day tomorrow. The only thing that will make that new day a new day is what you give to it. So give something new, okay? All right, y'all. Enjoy the fireworks of the day that was for the day, for the day that's to come and for the blessings that are on the way for you, me, all of us as a people, as a society, as a culture. I will give y'all a commercial break. Fireworks. And then I'll see you right back here at 10 o'clock, literally in 30 minutes. Oh, my God. We're live. Bye. Love you all. See you soon in 30 minutes. All right, bye. This is for all you multi-talented, multitasking, multi-everything people out there. Take it away. Find your glory, write your story, fearless we will carry you. Time you own it, take your moment, be a fire burning through. Hustling from night until morning, grinding it out, it won't be long. Feel your power, it's your hour, you inspire, you are strong. Enjoy your Zoa. <laughs> <On> no applause. <laughs> You're all fired. <laughs> <laughs> Now that you've reached the stage in your life where quality television is important, Nubian TV is a black network that speaks to your lifestyle. Nubian TV is the world's first digital network devoted to the upscale and political lifestyles of black people. Nubian TV's programming includes politics, travel, fashion, food, automotive, arts and culture, civil rights, music, and more. Watch now on Amazon Fire TV, Roku, or watch globally at NubianTV.net. Nubian TV, it's what you want to watch. Caesar. Just look at him. Politician. General. Author. Ruler. Man. Legend has it, he's not only stared into the belly of the beast, he's had it for dinner. Here he's free to relax, or party, or relax, or party, or relax, and party. His is a world of opulence. And the occasional impulse buy. Not one to rest on his laurels, he's famous for ushering in a new age of entertainment. So, for anyone seeking a place where the sun never sets on a good time, all this awaits. I am Caesar, and I approve this palace. 